Hello Zebraherd, Mario and the Rabbids take on intergalactic threats in Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. We'll be taking a look at every single boss fight throughout the adventure. Will the team be able to save the galaxy from the dark mess and defeat the evil Cursa? Let's find out. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Run! This is too much. I feel so bad for the little sparkle. We have more rabs to deal with. Whoa, Robin Mario! What a cool dude. Hey! <laughs> hey! We're chasing after still. <laughs> oh no, there's so many of them. Uh oh. Whoa! Whose sword was that? It's you, the person who followed us in. <laughs> Whoa. So cool. So who's this first? I don't know, but they're awesome. Ooh, they're just, they're just dealing with them no problem. Not want to be them right now. <laughs> Robin Mario's in love. They're so cool. Wow. What an introduction. And they're a friend. A perfect package. What is that? Oh no. Whoa! Watch it! What is that thing? Whoa, it's huge! It's like a tiger rabbit? Well, let's work together, driven to the edge. This is cool. Defeat giant wild claw. Wow, okay. Assuming we can trust the ominous stranger, having three heroes cooperating on the battlefield would give a huge advantage. It definitely would. So, let's try to figure this out a little bit. First, let's manage our team and read a little bit more about our mysterious friend, Edge. Whoa, I can't even read any information about them, but they're a blade master. And they have their own spark too. So that's really cool. So let's try this out then. Um, I guess I should have also taken a look with Bimo or Beepo. Um, the giant wild claw viciously goes after its nearest challenger to unleash area attacks that inflict a massive amount of damage. If attacked, it will charge at its attacker in a rage, during which it will launch an extra attack. So this thing is highly, highly dangerous with over 1,800 damage or health points. Um, that's pretty interesting. So what can we do here with Edge? Um, I guess for right now, we will run up like this. But let's see what we have here. We have the Fortify. Allies within range take 25% less damage, including super effects. But we also have the Stormblade. All targets in range are dealt 140% damage, plus any super effects if any one of them move within the line of sight. Has one charge. And we have this thing right here. Um, whoa! This is the Flying Blade, so we can throw the sword. When thrown at an enemy, it ignores partial cover while hitting multiple targets along the way before coming back. Before we do any of those then, I think we should switch over, oh no. Wait, will this would affect multiple people? And I think it just affects Rabbit Mario. Hmm. Then I think I'll keep them over this way. We'll switch back over to Edge and do this flying blade and see what ends up happening. Because of course, Wild Claw is gonna come charging at us with this. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. Uh oh, here we go. Run away. Okay, well it doesn't quite meet up with this entirely. Interesting. So I could try that, but I think we're gonna keep them there for now. Um, we can run over a little bit with Rabbit Peach. And once again, if we check with Beepo, what is there? They are undashable, cannot be dashed, but they're resistant to all special effect types. Good to know. Um, in the meantime, 
Can I reach him? I don't think I can you know, really reach him too much from here. So we might just get rid of, rid of whatever rabbit might be nearby. Which right now seems to be this one. Okay, good enough. If they get too much closer, we can just dash them. And we have rabbit Mario, who can't quite uh, reach where we need to be. That's a little unfortunate, but we could try over this way. Um, how does this one work again? Counter blow. Okay, I might not want to use that just yet. We'll just stay, stay over this way and end the turn. We haven't done a ton with the other characters, but we will soon. So they're gonna try to fire us, fire at us over that way. Everybody's sort of in trouble at the moment. This is getting really scary. Oh, that one directly hit Rabbit Mario. We can only hide in so many spots. Oh gosh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So I, I wonder if we Look, just those appear to be darkness portals. Destroy them quickly. More enemies are bound to pop out soon. Uh-oh. So we need to get some enemies over there or some teammates over there as soon as possible. For right now, I'm definitely just gonna dash this one. Um, and I could keep it moving. If we go over on this side, I might just be able to blast you. Yeah, there we go. Um, just so that I can get over there sooner, we can get rid of that thing. In the meantime, let's switch back over to Edge. Who, um, there's some enemies over there that we can't quite reach too easily, but what if I were to actually go to Rabbit Peach? I can't quite reach you either? You're kidding me. Um, maybe I could make them reach about halfway, like this. Would this be worth it? We're gonna find out. We're gonna be, we're gonna jump over and see if maybe this was worth my time at all. I get at least one of them, so I can run up and dash you. It has been real. Um, and then we can just get rid of this one. So we're slowly making it our way over to that darkness portal. But in the meantime, back over to Edge. We have Edge's ability here. I might just want to hide back this way then and keep distracting you. That might be, we could also try the special up close. So let's try this. Do the fortify so we take 25% less damage. Then we will try this move, the storm blade. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Honing in our energy. And then, oh no, but I can't attack you now. I, I messed it up, I messed it up. I thought that that would be an attack. Uh oh, so that unfortunately wasn't very worth it. Oh no. Hold on tight, Rabbit Peach. Okay, they didn't attack just yet, so their attack range is really, really small. Okay, it only spawned in one more rabbit. That's actually not too big of a deal. Um, oh, but there's another two popping up. I feel like chasing them might be a little bit futile then. I think we just might want to throw our sword at you and just really try to damage you down as much as possible. Ooh, that does a lot for sure. So you'll run over a little bit. Uh-oh, scary. Uh, but we're gonna switch over to Rabbit Peach. And while this is going to be a bit resistant, I can't imagine it'll do less than if we just normally attacked, you know? So actually, before we do that, let's hide a little bit farther back maybe. There we go. It is resistant, but I think it'll still do the damage. Maybe it would have been better just to attack normally. I have no clue. Uh, well, good things to learn. Let's switch over to Rabbit Mario. You can't really do too much. I don't know if that's even gonna reach. Unfortunately not. Uh, what should I do instead then with him? I, I really don't know. I guess we'll just leave it like this. How does this work again? Foes using weapon attacks are immediately counterattacked. I guess, but against Rabbit Mario, right? So maybe we'll just get him closer. This is a bit of a weird situation, but more rabbits are moving in. He's getting hit. I probably should have put him in a better spot. Oh, but you're moving over. You're just, just back and forth with a wild claw here. I'm mostly focused on the boss fight for now, though. I think that's the smartest move. Um, okay, so you have more rabbits are moving in, and maybe that is a problem. But for right now, I think we want to uh, do it a couple of things. I would like to move over to Rabbit Peach and get them over here as much as possible so that we can do a heal. That would be cool, but I don't know if that's gonna really work. Like if I used you and put you maybe here, that would sort of work, but that's also maybe not the best idea. <laughs> okay, uh, hmm. Maybe it's not worth worrying about too much. I'm just gonna toss this sword at you after I move Rabbit Mario. No, I can move Rabbit Mario over. Okay, so yeah, we'll do this. I will activate this thing. Ooh, look at our punches. We're ready. 
and we'll throw that punch over in just a moment. First off, I want, oh, but that's right, okay. So, I mean, this is what matters the most, I think. Obviously, Edge has taken some damage too, but he'll, we'll heal 30 HP for now. This will, you know, have a cooldown over time anyways. If we really need to, we also have mushrooms. Okay, so, yeah, let's get this. And they might run over and actually do damage to Rabbit Peach, but they're knocked over for now. Oh, it's close, scary, ah! Oh, that did a ton, uh-oh. Okay, good to know. It's very, very risky, but we're gonna switch over to Rabbit Mario um, and just hit you with everything we got here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Bye -bye. Boom. And if you attack, we should do a counter attack? Whoa. No, that's not how it worked. Uh, well, actually, here we go. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. But will you attack again because of that? Uh, no, okay. I was waiting for it, but it just didn't happen. Um, so in the meantime, I'll just toss a sword over. And we are getting them lower and lower, but we are also starting to take some good numbers of damage here. So it does get a bit scary. We might get hurt again next this turn. Um, but we just need a little bit more to damage down before we have Wild Call taken out. Yeah, it definitely hurts. Oh. Rabbit Mario is getting lower and lower, and so is Edge. So let's try this out. Even if the attack, oh gosh, lands here. Oh no, that's actually his edge taken down. That's definitely scary. Well, let's try this out. First off, hitting with this. Maybe I should have hit undercover first, I don't know. But we're so close to getting rid of you that I'm hoping that I can just do this. Would this be enough? It wouldn't be, but maybe if I use the deflection, it would be. And then maybe I could angle myself like, okay, I thought there was maybe a rabbit over there I can hit, but there is one here. Wait, what just happened? Just got dizzy? <laughs> okay, um, not what I intended. Is there any way I could maybe hit them both? I don't think so. So we're just gonna try to bring you over this way so that you're not getting rid of both of us. Come on, can I get a critical? Almost, right? Okay, now this is gonna hurt us. Oh no, but we do do the reflection. So there we go, Wild Claws defeated and our battle is cleared. We did it. Great work. Whoa, purified darkness energy crystal obtained. Oh my. Ah. Oh no. Uh oh. Here comes Edge. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, the squad is ready. <laughs> what is going on? So much spoken with so little words. Edge, you're here. I knew you would show yourself eventually. Let her go. Let the girl go, Midnight. Ride with us. It's a smart play and you know it. Hello. Are these your new friends? Maybe I should warn them. After all, we were friends once. Perhaps we still are. Uh-oh, backstory. Friends? Friends how? Enough talk. But you just got here, and we're just getting to the fun part. Honest. Honest, I couldn't make the girl leave if I wanted to. See, real friends just don't up and ghost you, Edge. Real friends, stick around. Uh-oh. Poisonous snake. She's vanished inside that barrel-eyed snaffle kraken. Dark mass tentacle. I'm pretty sure we mentioned it before. Hold on, girl. I'm coming, girl. <laughs> Wait, no way. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Rabbit Rosalina. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 
No, hi. He's crying. What? <laughs> she seems confused. Uh oh. Uh oh. What just happened? <laughs> she doesn't seem very happy about it. It's midnight again. Now we have to save Orion and Rapid Rosalina. She is just not into it. Whoa! Wait a minute, is that a weapon? Midnight Library. Oh man, so I guess we get to unlock Rapid Rosalina for this. That'd be so cool. Defeat Midnight. Whoa. There's so much going on here. Here we go. So actually, let's first take a look. Yeah, we are playing as Rapid Rosalina here with everybody else. That's awesome. But there are a ton of enemies. Our main goal is to defeat Midnight. Right over this way, a versatile spark hunter whose techniques can limit heroes' attacks or increase the damage done by allies. She's resistant to frostbite, but everything else is fair game. So we'll be using that for sure. But there's so many of these guys, so having that poison spark out is good, which we do have. I don't see any other enemy types except for some out here, which we'll need splash for. So toxic and splash are two. Um, if we could also take a look really quickly, manage our team and make sure that we're all maximum level. Can we decide this after a nap? No, we can't. <laughs> she is. She is just really not into any of this. You could just walk up and fight right away though, um, if we wanted to. I'm a little worried about the implications of that, so maybe we should head down here. Cause I don't know, would that reach? Unfortunately it wouldn't, but I could. Plus, you're pretty good from here. This is the Kaboomer. Launches several projectiles towards the same target, breaking down any destructible that cover their way. Sure. Oh my goodness, that was a burst. Um, oh, but now she can't move. So was that the best move? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But we have the rest of the squad here where I can maybe figure out a couple of things. First things first, I wanna get over here and dash you, sure, why not? Um, hmm. So many ways to go. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I wanna do this, but I think for right now, I'll go up here and get as many. This doesn't work down or uphill, so maybe I could. Just trying to find out the exact way I wanna do this. Um, I think I'll team jump Luigi up here. Because we can start blasting Midnight right away. A lot of enemies, but only so many we actually need to take out. So, you know what to do. The team barrier charge for uh, Edge is great. And then I would like to get you maybe about here. With this, we could, uh, see it doesn't hit them, so no matter what, it just doesn't change levels. Okay, it'll get rid of at least this one enemy, and that's great. Oh, and it also hits her. I wasn't even expecting that, so that's cool. Um. And you're gonna have to find another way up, <laughs> unfortunately. But I guess I could toss this over here and get rid of you. Yeah, that might be my best bet for now. So toss it over. One day. And we'll leave it like that, I think. The most I wanna do here now is activate maybe splash attack. I don't know if that's a good idea because it might knock her back a little. Uh, but we did it, so let's see it. Ready, blast you right there, boom. 403 is pretty good, another 10 for her bouncing. So I don't think there's, what else could I do at the moment? What is uh, Rosalina's special attack? It's going to be NUI. Targets struck with the stasis effect are unable to move, shoot, or use techniques. Any damage received lifts the effect. I don't think I need that quite yet. So we're just going to leave this how it is. Or if I want to be extra safe, we could try the unseen. The hero turns invisible for one turn and can't be directly targeted. However, they are still vulnerable to damage and super effects. So let's try this one. Ooh, that actually fits really well with Rosalind. <laughs> She's just taking a nap on the railing. You know, I have those days too, you know? Uh-oh. <laughs> Whittle waddling over. Oh no. Ah! Okay, that didn't do any damage. Weird. I don't know why that didn't do any damage. Whoa, they're jumping up. That's scary. Oh, the slam on the peach, that was just not nice. Okay, this is out getting a little bit scary. I think this might be where I apply the shield next turn. So she can move over, but doesn't see her. Oh, poor, poor Luigi. Okay, this is where a lot can happen, but I think I have some plans here. Uh, oh no, oh no. Okay, she didn't move too far at all actually, so that's fine. How can I do this? I think, Ooh, we have so many possibilities. I wish it was an easier way for her to get up right now. But I guess we'll just move Edge over here. Um, 
I could try to find a spot. That lands. Yeah, go for it then. We are going to do electric shock attack and just try to beat up Midnight as much as we can possibly muster at the moment. So, get that direct shot, shock attack. Very nice. Oh, and it even affects him over there. That's really good. In the meantime, I wanna switch over to Peach because we all really need some extra defense. Um, there's gotta be a spot I can stand where I can hit them off. Right there. All right, thank you, Peach. I haven't seen this one in a while, so I'll let it play. And then we could just blast you full damage right here. If we were to do that, we should do the shock dash. Because why not, you know? Um, shock dash. We could team jump just to give anybody some extra barrier. That's all I'm trying to do there. Uh, advantage yourself a little bit with it. Oh, but I used all of them, so I won't have the attack. I'm so silly. I keep forgetting that the attack counts as one, you know? I don't know why, but I will put you here. And Midnight's already halfway down. So we'll do the burn attack on Midnight here. And just keep you here. Full focus damage. Really? That doesn't land? Is that land? That lands. All right, so now you're burning, you're moving. And like, we're still in like a lot of trouble here in terms of like, other things? I guess I should have activated the Steely Stair there. It's okay. Um, Cause next turn, oh and I could go up here too, that sounds like fun. Let's go up here with Luigi. I will activate the Steely Stair. And I hope that she moves first, cause if not, this is gonna be a waste. That's why it's good to you know team, team it up with other moves. But I'll just hit you with this. Ooh, 72 damage, not too bad. End it here, I guess? Yeah, I don't have any other moves. Except for Peach running around. I guess I could give Peach a more protective spot like this. Sure. Finish a turn there. The enemies get the move now. No, Luigi, I needed you to attack Midnight with that. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. The shield's now working pretty well. Oh, yeah, that's right. I jumped off of Edge before, and that's why I didn't take any damage. So, obviously, Peach's moves are working out pretty well. Poor Luigi, but luckily, because of the really nice shield, okay, that one also didn't hurt. Wow, yeah, that's right, it's two hits each. So that one, gonna cause a bit more of a number. Luigi's in a lot of pain right now, but what we could do, right, is we could first switch to Luigi. I think what I wanna do here is activate this turbo charge, give everybody some extra damage. With that extra damage, I could try to focus in on you. A guaranteed shot for over 500, 534 to be exact. Now we move over to somebody like Princess Peach. Actually, I might go for some crazy maneuvers here. What I wanna do first, let's get Edge over. I wanna get, oh, Luigi can't move. Okay, that's fine. I can get Rabbit Rosalina actually really, really far. So maybe something like this. I will, where's Peach at? Move Peach here so that I can get Edge out just a little bit farther, just in case. But I think we could actually take out Midnight on this turn. There we go. See, now I do something like this to get rid of these two just in case. Just taking out more enemies does get us more starving, so it can be worth it. Oh, and you're done for it. Right here, finish you off, boom. That was a really well done boss fight. We, we figured it out really quick. See you, Midnight. Uh-oh, she's not happy. This might have just been phase one. Uh, uh oh. Whoa, everything's moving. I don't think this is quite over yet. Defeat Midnight again? How many times do I have to do this? Uh, oh, it's all different this time too. We could try to stick with the same team or we can mix it up a little bit. I think we'll stick with the same team, but I can't heal. Uh oh. That's actually a huge problem because Luigi's very low. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a mushroom for Luigi, healing up 400 health. It's not a ton, and I can't use another item quite yet. So in the meantime, let's take a good look around to see there are a lot of enemies, and these guys, the Lone Wolves, are our biggest problem because they will eventually do the uh, the evil site, and that can cut, put us into some big problems. That's where it's crazy because I don't have too much fire stuff I can really even do here, but I could just walk up with you. Hold on, there's at least one thing I could do here. Dash into you. And could I just attack you normally? Would that be enough to defeat you? Oh no, wrong thing. Uh, 
like this. It would not be, but if I did a fire move, put you like this, burn attack. Here we go. Oh, you're done for. You're so done for. Just blast you with all that fire. That was amazing, actually. <laughs> all right, see ya. And we're getting one step closer to you, so I might as well just get you over here. We'll be able to get you farther if we land you in front of the pipe then instead of up there. So let's do that through the pipe right here. Luigi, we might want to do more of the same thing. I really need Luigi to be at least a little bit far out. Well, actually, not too far. We could put Luigi up here, and that should be enough. I'll land him about here so we have the full range of the circle to move on this platform. But I think if Luigi's here, he can hit midnight, right? Really? That pipe is in the way from that distance? That's a direct shot, right? Yeah, right there, perfect. So it's not a ton, but it's something. So let's hit midnight with this. The 528 is gonna chip away some of that health. Um, now, Peach can just move on. Just like this, no problem. And we could actually just have her, that is so crazy. I could just have her jump over. Okay, I mean, why not? Let's uh do this. Dash into you. Um, use the toxic pulse. That seems like a great idea to me. I mean, she's gonna get a direct shot on Peach, but like, I don't think it's too much of a problem. Boom, blast you with that. Switch over. Rabbit Rosalina can't do anything, but we still have a full arsenal of moves here with um, you. So why don't we try the electric move again, the shock attack. Turn on to you and get you under half health already. Just moving up there and getting some work done seems to be super effective. And now we've done everything we can for this turn. So Midnight's probably gonna move off somewhere to teleport over, but not too much so that we can't just get to them. So a thousand critical damage here to Peach. That really hurt. So I think this turn we're gonna do some shield stuff. Everybody's looking a little scary. Uh-oh, uh oh ooh! That was definitely painful. Now I'm guessing, yeah, some villain sight's about to be activated, right? Not quite yet. Oh, there it is. But I think I can make something work here with that. I don't know if I'm as worried about it as you might think. Ooh, that does hurt though. If you activate it now, I'm in a bit more of a situation. Oh, Peach is out for the count too. Oh no. Ooh, that actually does make a problem. What do I do here? Um. Ooh, that has made things really, really rough for us because I can do this and explode you at the least. If we don't move this turn, yo okay. Um. The problem is, how do I manage that, you know? Like, what if I, oh, I can't even make you move anymore. Oh no, this is scary. I could do this, I hope it lands. It lands, Luigi getting through. Let's activate the, here, the Steely Stair for Luigi, just give them a taste of their own medicine if they do decide to move. And then, see, what if I were to do this? Wouldn't you just hit the clock? No, you do make that hit. That's crazy. But this one won't see me? At least not from there. Um, and that won't hit edge. That might be my best bet. See with this, oh no, no, no! Ah, oh, I thought I could maybe slip by. I was wrong. So two of our teammates are out already. That might've been a huge mistake. I was not expecting to have to, ah, oh, that's ridiculous. I was not expecting to have to do a second fight after the other one with different enemies and circumstances. So, I mean, now we know it just feels like I was cheated. That's not how I wanted to attack with that, but I guess, thanks, Luigi. Oh no. This is a huge problem. Because it's now all up to Luigi to win the entire thing. That went so bad so fast. We were destroying her too. I don't even know where she went. I can't use any items that heal them back up, so we might just be game over here. I really don't see what we could do. Can I team jump off of them? Not really. Um, What a shame. I thought that was really silly. Where is Midnight? Midnight's up there. Could I just go all in? Would this land? It would land. Okay, this is our last chance. Turbo charge. Come on, Luigi, you can finish her off, right? I sure hope so. It's not enough still, but I'm going to try. 374, and just hope, and just hope. Oh no, oh, she's moving over that way. Uh, that might be it for Luigi. I didn't hide him anywhere, so. Yeah, I think that's it. We were closer to defeating her a second time and I wasn't even expecting any of that, so battle lost. Restart from last bat latest checkpoint. Yes, this will be good. So I can try this again, 
position myself a little bit better, and I think we'll be fine. Whoa, so I'm activating this move. Whoa, that's so cool. So she's just reading her book. Very cool. So we're gonna keep things like that for now. Um, I wanna move over to Luigi. He's already used some things. I, I might just wanna keep him here and try to blast her. I know it's not a ton of damage, but something. Next turn, I have some other things in mind, but for right now, this will work just okay. Um, I would like to, because Peach got really beat up last time. I wanna make sure that doesn't happen this time. If we could get everybody over here, I just wanna wait until that's like really, really necessary. You know, because I think we're actually pretty well hidden for the most part, maybe not worth it just yet. Hmm. So I've, I've not team jumped off of anybody. I could give you an extra charge that way. I have an idea here, land it right about here, because I think I can nuzzle myself. No, it won't let me. Oh no, I was gonna try to go down that way. Oh, that's actually a bit of a problem. I guess I'll just like try to hide here and hope I don't get too beat up. In the meantime now, I will go up here. We will, I'll activate this one. Oh, dash is not available, I already dashed. That's right, okay, so instead I'll use this toxic move. Got it. So that is still a good chunk of damage, just getting sent out there. Then I can hide Peach over here and attack with this. It's not the most amount of damage. The closer we are, the more damage it ends up doing, but that's all I can do for right now, so I'll just make the most of it. Um, and then back over to Rabbit Edge, where we could activate the shock attack and throw this over. Just like that, just like that. Much better. And I think we're just in a slightly better position in general to, uh, Hopefully survive this. I guess we'll see. Because Midnight's gonna move over there this time. Some of those guys are stuck in place, though. So, and that's going to not affect Edge because we have that guard. See, now this is where things get a little bit scarier and where I think we'd be more advantaged to start that shield up. Oh no. Ooh, that does hurt. Oh, but then that happens. This is where things get scary. Luigi does get hurt there, too, and you're gonna activate yours. How do we do this? I think what we do is we just go for it. You know what I mean? What we're gonna do is, first I'll take a look at her over here. She's at 895 health. That is so doable. If we go ahead and get a shield on everybody with Princess Peach, now even if they do activate their stuff, we should be fine. Um, so let's go for it. You're gonna attack me. That's fine. And we're outside of the range of the other one, so I could already go a little bit crazy here, pick this up, toss it over, hit you with that, that's gonna do some good damage to you. Then, the shield is still there, so I'm a little bit worried about this, but we're just gonna try it, because remember, this is what this move is good for. Rabbit Rosalina's move is good for destroying shields. So, if we go like this, it should get rid of so much of your health. Oh, not quite that, I should have activated, it's, oh no, I should have activated Silly Stare. Huge regret there, but it's okay. We switch over to Edge, who can just walk over almost. Um, okay, hold on. I know that's gonna attack Peach, but it's actually fine. Remember, we still have the shield. So zero damage to us there. We're going to jump over about here, I think. Yep, just like this. Now you're done for. You are finished. Because now we just dash you, and that's it. We win. We got it, I can't believe it. See you, Midnight. Uh-oh, she's not happy about it. Hey, those are good books you're throwing. Don't tell me there's a third phase. Uh-oh. Whoa. Again? You're kidding me. How many more could there be? Oh, here we go. Defeat Midnight. Come on, one more time. This is the toughest battle we've had by far. I mean, if we could just all start it with full health or something, it'd be so much easier, but we, we just can't. So another mushroom there for Luigi. And then I think I need to get one for Peach too. I need to go and sock up on mushrooms after this fight for sure. Um, let's see what we can do then. Let's take a look around and you can see there's a lot of enemies everywhere. First, I need to deal with them. They're gonna be a huge pain in the butt from where they are. So if we could try to find a way to shoot them down, it would be amazing. Um, this midnight is way far off over there. It's gonna be a while before we get to them. This is ridiculous. Um, if I were to try to attack them, no target in range. From like here, not quite gonna work. Okay. Hmm. 
I think we'll try to get Luigi up somewhere just through one of these pipes. It's not too bad of a spot, actually, because then I can try to focus on you, but the problem is it's still not gonna do much, so maybe I blast you, and then maybe I just do, oh, I already used my one item. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Okay, it's fine. Luigi needs some protection here, so if we could just team jump off of you. Position Peach over this way, maybe? Get right about here. It gives us some options where I could get over like, ah, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's get her up here. How close can we get her to all the action on this side? It looks like quite a lot, actually. Um, yeah, cause we can just get you up here. Wow, this just keeps going and going. Do this then. I wish I activated the electric thing, but also at the same time, I sort of, maybe I shouldn't. Not team barrier. How much would this do? Ooh, that would actually, it would get a lot done because I'm saying two people. This, not doing as much from where I'm standing, but here, I don't know if this is a good idea, but. Oh, and I can pop some bob -ums and hit that guy. That seems like the move. That seems like the play to make here. There we go. Um, Cause you know, obviously Peach is in a bit of a risky situation now, but like I think it was just the most effective thing we could set up. We'll get her here for now so that I can get edged through the same way. How far can Edge walk right now? Way over this way. And then Rabbit Lo Rosalina, the same distance. Okay, that's good. That means I could get Edge up there and try to fight you a little bit. Yep, just like this. Because I have the if I take a look, you're resistant to shock. That's fine, because we have the water dash. Just like this. So we're gonna activate that. Dash for you once. Send you all the way over there. Sure. Go through this pipe and do the same thing to you. But I wanna dash you over this way, I think. And then if I were to attack you. It would hit the guy in front of me too, which is something I was just sort of hoping for would work out, and it does. So would that critical be enough? It is! There we go, we took out a lot of opponents with this turn then. Um, even if we do have some risks, we have some rewards working out for us too. So who can even still move and do things? Um, Rabid Rosalina could go over here. I do want to try to posture myself a little bit carefully because of you, because your movement would get us over here, and that's scary. So I could, this turn, Here's another NUI. All right, that's a nice little story. And then, I don't have to worry about as much, I can just blast you and get rid of you. Is it coins that it's launching? Creep? Jeez, she's ruthless too, very mean. But you know what? They're not very nice either, so. Oh, and I forgot about you up here, so that does get me a little bit concerned. Let's see who they're gonna aim for. It's gonna be Luigi, but with the shield coming into play. All right, you wanna do that. Oh, the super slam on the poor edge. Let's see what we can do here. I think there's a lot of things. The first thing I wanna focus on is Luigi though, because yeah, you were able to attack us, but we have a clear shot right back at you. We can't move Luigi here, but I don't think it's going to affect anybody else besides Luigi. So you know what? Keep Luigi nice and safe. We're gonna go ahead and give him the final mushroom. Actually, no, you know what? We could just steal you, stare you. That way, if you move, you're in this, we, we got the same move going on, you know? Um, my question is, how do I get up there? You know what I could do for now? Um, go through this pipe. Oh, that pipe gets me here, I see. Um, I could dash into you. I might wanna save it for now. Let's see who else I can move around, because Rabbit Rosalina is so, so close to this. That is ridiculous. Can I attack you from here? I can't, but I could. This is. Maybe a bit silly, but I might as well give it a try. Pick this up. I gotta run, 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 run. Gotta be quick about this, gotta be quick. And get, give it a toss. Uh, that didn't work. That did not work out the way I wanted it to at all. Okay, so there's still some things I can do here. Rabid, or just edge, yeah, out this way. Where can we get you that it would work? Apparently right there. Team jump. We're almost there. And with this, I can't really damage you too much, but we can still do other stuff. So, burn up, burn attack. There we go. And it's enough to do something. She's gonna run around because she's on fire. I don't think she'll hop off the platform though. 
Now, we have a couple of options. I want Edge back over, but before we do too much with Edge, I want to decide what we want to do with Peach, who's over this way. Because I'm pretty sure Peach could just go through like this. Team jump off of you. Land right here. And we can either do this, which would do 212 damage and super shock effect, or 76 three times. Um, so this would be a little bit more than 212 then, right? I think so, maybe not. Uh, 76 times three is 228. So yeah, just ever so slightly. So okay, let's go for this then. And maybe if I do it the right position, I could hit that other guy way out there. Not really, okay, it's fine. Hits you with that toxic ooze. Very nice. Um, and then yeah, if I can't really do too much more, definitely dash into you. And then hit you with this. This is full damage right here. Oh, not bad. You are almost halfway down now, and we're not finished either. Rabbit Edge is gonna jump up here. We're gonna show you what's what. We're just all gonna be up here. If we're gonna be up here, we are too. Uh, and if you try to move, I would hope I could use the one, I think I might just wanna use the rabbit or the, sh the spark here. So the shock attack. Very cool. Attack you directly. Look at all that lightning damage. Okay, good stuff. That's all we can do this turn. You're gonna move. Just to the other side though, that's very workable. Ooh, gonna hit Peach directly, but this is where we can maybe put the shield out. You're gonna try to blast Luigi, but Luigi is sitting pretty comfortably. Oh no, you're coming up. Oh no! Oh, the shield though, it's fine, it's fine. So, I think we'll be doing the same thing again. Team jump over. You are in so much trouble. Cause I can just land you right here. I just blast you if I wanted to. Um, Before I get that done now, Let's maybe get Rabbit Rosalina over this way or something. I don't really know exactly what I want to do with her. Because it unfortunately you just can't. I mean, this will do some damage, so I'll take it. Oh, and then you don't have anybody to jump off of now. Whoops, okay. Well, actually, don't be so sure of that. We could go through like this. Oh, actually this might be even better. Team jump up. Land right here. Dash you. Dash you again and then finish you off. Maybe not enough to finish you off, but I don't think Peach is attacked yet, right? Let's hope not. There we go, for the third time now. You gotta be done, right? See ya. Jeez. She can take a beating though, I can tell you that much. All right, we, we saved uh, Orion. Orion, you know your name, aww. Reunited. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. So she's gonna leave. So what is the history between Edge and Midnight? I have to know, but look at who it is. Rabbit Rosalina gets us the spark. Purified darkness energy crystal obtained. Amazing. Oh my. Oh no. That truly is a ginormous Goomba. So we just go into the fight with it. Okay, this will be cool. So I guess this must be its own boss fight, you know? So that'll be really interesting at the least. So even if today's episode is a bit of a shorter one, I'm glad that I can experience it and you know just get through this. And like I said, we won't do Pristine Peaks 100% until I definitely have enough sparks to do the boss fight there. Because I'm guessing each area will have its own hidden fight. Defeat Goomba. So let's take a look at the Beepo Tacticam. We don't have any other new opponents, but as you can see, the really, really big Goomba will trounce everything in its path when closing in on its nearest rival. It cannot be dashed. It is resistant to all the different attack types. Um, as you can see over here though, we do have a Scoper and a uh, Flame and Stooge, so two of each. Which are sort of just running around. So of course, they're weak to Splash, they're weak to Burn. Um, so just have those just in case. If we manage our team, we can double check. I also might want to spend some of my points soon. Either way, things are looking good here. I think we can just get started. So I just, you know, boosted everybody with this thing. Now we can, um, hmm, there's so much we can do. 
trying to find out exactly how this is gonna work. Checking its attack range, right? Um, it, it's not gonna reach us from here. So making sure that Luigi is just as far away as we can be from the Goomba while still hitting it, it's super important because remember, the farther that Luigi does, the farther the target, the more damage it does. So we could just hit you like this. Boom. How cool is that? And then if we act silly, sir, the only thing that would be in the range is that Goomba. So we can hit it again with this. Okay, so that's ready and waiting. Um, I guess we could just get Rosalina, or grab Rosalina to attack like this. Hitting a ton of damage. So while it does have a ton of health, we are slowly working through it. And then, I think we'll do something pretty similar here, but maybe just move it a little bit closer. Can I get this over? I'm a little nervous now. I probably should have done some of this movement stuff after, but can we hit you like that? Since it's such a huge target, we can do a lot of things like that. So I'm just going to activate this, the Stormblade, really hitting it with everything we got. Take that. There we go. Ooh, so much there and back. And the enemies are moving in. Will they be able to reach anybody? Really, Luigi went for that one? Come on, I really wanted to, to do the silly steer on the Goomba. But yeah, I guess they just moved in. You can never really control that. Especially since the big guy goes last. So let's see, before we move forward, how much farther can it move? It could potentially get Edge. So I'm gonna move Edge like this. And I'm sort of just ignoring the other rabbits as much as I can. I think that's the better move right now. So yeah, let's try this. And that's still another huge chunk of damage. Switch over to Luigi and just, same deal. Hit him again. There we go. 540. And then switching over to you. I might put you over this way. Might be a little bit safer. Now nobody can move. So we'll, we'll see, some of the rabbits will get out a little bit farther now and we'll just have to hope for the best. And that turn. Uh oh, ooh, that, okay, that's fine, that's fine. And they're not moving. Very interesting that they're not moving at all. Uh, how do we wanna do this? Because obviously, you're in a bit of trouble. We can't dash you. I don't know if I should be getting myself cornered like this, if this is a good idea. Uh, they can move over here, though, so that's where it gets scary. Uh, maybe... Get you over here. I can see this working. Getting you right over here. That's gonna do more. So we're halfway through this Goomba's health now. Doesn't seem so happy about it. Let's go with the sharpshooter again. Oh, we got the Sealy Stare again too, so might as well. Yeah, we already saw this. We already saw this one today. So let's blast that. And how are we with the spark? Because I think that'll be available next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in the meantime, and if I really want to, if I really want to keep everybody there, oh, this is a good idea, actually. So before too much more happens here, let's use the MUI to keep these two there. That way they're not approaching us and making this more difficult. We're not trapped in a corner. This will buy us some more time. Excellent. I really wish I could dash you, but I can understand why I can't. It's just too big of a Goomba, too big. Um, then let's try this out right over here, hide behind this wall, and hit you with this. It's not a ton of damage, but it's enough that we can be really suited up for the next turn. Oh, but I think attacking them like that cancels the NUI. Am I right with that? I think so. I gotta keep that in mind. If that one can move, yeah, the Goomba can move, but that guy can't. That was a mistake. Oh, poor rabbit Rosalina. Oh, but the Steely Stair gets you good. They're breaking more blocks though, which also makes this a problem. But first things first, is that we have now the Turbo Charge. Pretty cool. So, now I hit you with everything I got. I hope that this is enough, because if not, we're in huge trouble. Uh, we have you now too, so let's hit you with this. Ooh, this really might be it. That was a bunch of damage. And then I can just activate this. Yeah, let's see, I don't know, I think I skipped this before, sorry. There we go. We're all charged up and ready to go with this one. And then Luigi might be able to finish it, maybe? Ooh, not quite. So, we'll save it like that. If the Goomba moves, I think it'll be up to Edge to attack. Here we go, here we go. You got it, Edge! Oh, there it is! Pretty cool, battle cleared. Whoa, whoa! 
Oh, that must have hurt. Let's go over here and do something about this thing. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Uh, this house is exploding. I'm so confused. Uh oh. It's Bowser? Hey, buddy. Who are you fighting? Oh, man. Oh, they're really tussling. Uh, hey. Awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> they know Edge? Oh, this is getting complicated. Oh, Bowser with the headbutt. Oh, but they returned the favor, not the tail swing. Oh no, into the goop. This is looking bad. We gotta help Bowser out of all people. That round fella? That round fella, a friend of yours? Oh, mama. Who could ask you the same about that stone-faced but oddly attractive woman? Spark Hunter. Spark Hunter, name's Bedrock, and she's no friend of mine. Bowser's no friend of ours either. Does a lot of kidnapping of Princess Peach. Still, we can't leave him to the dark mess, can we? Especially since Bowser was the main enemy of the last game. Okay, so the, defeat the tentacle in the plaza to save Bowser. Blast through the bedrock. This is so interesting. See, let's go for it. Let's see if we can't save big bad Bowser. For all his strength, even the mighty Bowser is helpless in the dark mist I mentioned without a spark powered weapon. Oh. We do have a weapon we can spare. It was designed for rabid Mario, but proved too heavy for him to wield effectively. Huh. No, 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 no. Not true. It chafed my skin. Yeah, something like that. So what are we going to give Bowser? Oh my goodness, that is huge. Oh, and it's just his style. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Now that is destructive. So Bowser is joining our team here. This is amazing. Blast through the bedrock. Defeat bedrock. So we got a boss fight here to introduce Bowser. Just like we had Midnight with uh, Rabbit Rosalina. This is so cool. Does that mean there's a rabid I've Bowser somewhere? <laughs> bedrock is too strong for our attacks to cause much damage. Try luring her onto the those explosive traps first. Okay. So we have a lot going on here. First, let's take a look at our boss fight, Bedrock. Incredibly strong, viciously stomps opponents, and then leaps out of reach. When hit, becomes enraged and will pursue her assailant, rushing headlong into whatever lay in her path. And everything else is just an army of Goombas and a couple of uh, the depleters. Gotcha, so I think we're good with this. I don't think Bedrock has a weakness. Okay, resisting the burn, but beyond that, we're fine. So let's go for it. I'm going to hope for the best here. Here we go. I can't believe we can play as Bowser, who of course has the Bowzooka. Fires one exploding projectile that deals damage throughout the target area, ignores partial cover. We also, of course, have the um, rabid Mecha Koopas. Summons three Mecha Koopas to chase the closest foe and explode on contact. If a foe moves in close, boom. That is so cool. So I could also, I don't know if we can team jump with Bowser out of all characters, that'd be a little crazy. Where are these explosives? I see some covered by the leaves over here, so I guess we'll work on that first. Um, if I try to take a look at Bowser's attack range, you can see that we are just barely in reach though. Um, so let's just try this for now. I'll get Bowser about here and we will hope for the best. Um, I could strike you too. It is dashing you. It's something. It is getting rid of another Goomba, you know? Let's try, yeah, you. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. We'll get rid of all the Goombas in the area too. Oh, and you're gonna rush right forward towards us. Oh boy. Won't quite reach us out. So this is where hopefully we can do some things uh, like move Luigi over. I guess for right now we could jump Luigi over this way, just like that. And then maybe just a little bit more. Cause that's the thing, she doesn't really have a health bar we can lower too much. Oh boy. I mean, I actually, maybe not. 
it's she still has a health bar, but unfortunately, I think Bowser might get a bit damage from this one. Oh, yeah, Bowser got knocked over. Um, that's okay. What we're going to do then is get Peach over there and see if we can't team jump off of Bowser. Team jump off of you to get you a shield. I can't believe we're seeing the day where Bowser and Peach are effectively working together. That's crazy. Um, and then maybe just keep you about here for now, just so that we can. Hmm, if I move this at just the right angle, I might be able to hit two for one. Ah, not quite from here, but maybe on this side, if Luigi doesn't mind scooting. Uh, still not quite. There's gotta be a happy medium here. There we go, it could at least hit one Goomba, right? Oh no, that will hit her. Okay, let's try it. So that'll block some damage for Bowser. But it launches him, it launches her back. Okay, is that what we wanted? I don't think it was. That was a little bit odd. Um, for right now then, I guess we'll get Rabbit Rosalina to do some stuff. I'm a little confused on what just happened. Um, we'll use that Kaboomer. Yeah, it doesn't do too much as you can see. It's getting her not very low. Super odd so far. I got her on top of this, but it didn't implode. Okay, well, I might as well use this with Bowser, the Ra Robin Mecha Koopas. This seems so cool. Whoa, the king of the Koopas. Got his mechanical armor, and they're Robin, too. So that'll explode them. Will she move over with that? She won't. So obviously, this isn't the productive way to do it. We're doing so little damage, just not much can get done. So I think what we'll do instead, let's get that Steely Stair out just from Luigi to make sure that anything that we need happens there. Um. Everybody is close enough, except for Bowser, that we can get some shields out, so I think this might be good. Because so this might take us, you know, a couple of tries. I'm really a bit confused on how certain things are working here, so we're just going to leave it like that. We're just gonna do that true strike, but you can see, we landed on it. She exploded it this time, that's what we wanted. Bowser sort of got knocked out, though. Bowser's not looking so good. Is Bowser down for good already? Uh-oh. That might be the case, which is definitely not what I intended. Bowser would have been very, very useful for the rest of this. Hopefully he's just out for one turn, but we'll see in a moment. Um, oh goodness. No, Bowser is out. Okay, so that was a huge mistake, but I'm learning from it, and that did do some damage to Bedrock, and I think that's really the only effective way to do it. So, for right now, we are going to get Luigi over this way as much as I can manage, okay, just like that, so that we can jump off of this one, and basically just do the same thing over here. It would have been really helpful with Bowser too. Unfortunately, go. not gonna happen that way now, but there still might be more I can do. So, first get you just to come over like this. Boom. And the good news is that anybody who's over there will get damaged, if, if we do this correctly, that is. So, let's try this out. Oh, I was gonna try to jump on that. It didn't quite work, but that's okay. Let's try this one. There we go, much better. And then almost there, almost there. Okay, jump off of this one. Then maybe get you about here. Just need to make sure it actually reaches, you know? Before we do that, let's get Rapid Rosalina over a little bit, right? I don't know if we'll do anything too crazy here, but what I could do is land her there. Ooh, actually not able to reach too much because of that. But I could move, first off, just do this. This will get you some extra shields. Drop down again. And then you can team jump over to this side a little bit, I think would be good. Just to sort of see what ends up happening. Um, let's start with Peach. Get you to move over a little bit. Okay, they're gonna get a little bit closer. Cause what we need them to do is that but on this. I don't know if that's close enough to really count right now, but we're gonna try it. Come on, come on. Ooh. Come on, please. Yes, it does count, but that is gonna knock Peach back. Is that enough to defeat her too? No, okay, she's back up. And she actually didn't take much damage. Why didn't Bowser get so beat up by that then? Maybe because we don't have any upgrades for him? I'm not really sure, but we're gonna pass the turn because there's not too much more I can do from here. I'm a little bit worried. But so far, this is sort of working. The life steal doesn't activate because we have that shield. Oh goodness, and the Goomba army making their way over. That's crazy. Here comes some more of them. 
stack of six. That's crazy. I don't know if it'll count, they're all lined up like that, if we could just get rid of them in one go. I guess we'll see in a moment. But they are lower on health though, we still have two more of these bombs to do. So we need to get Peach right over this way. I, I, I did reach it. And I can get rid of three of them just like that too. So we're going to jump over again. And basically just do what we did last time. Okay, let's keep that there for now as we're trying to figure out everything else. I hope that I can get over, oh no. Ooh, close one. Get rid of two more. Great horn spoon. What, what did she say? I have no clue. Uh, and then Luigi, same deal. Jump you over. I'm a little worried that Luigi won't quite reach. Nah, he's got it, he's got it. Jump over again. And then one more time with Luigi. We're going to jump over like this. And this time I need to pay attention to the angle at which she's at. Yeah, that's actually a huge deal. We are going to, hmm, there's so much I could do here. What I think might be the best bet is to, first off, get Peach to team jump off of somebody and do it about here. I think that's good. Have her hide behind that. We will activate Luigi's Steely Stare. This is going to be an explosive chain of events, I have a feeling. But we're gonna start with that. Back over to, Rabbit Rosalina, I could activate this NUI just on everybody that isn't blockade, whatever their name was. Just so that they don't come over here and cause problems for us. We're going to focus specifically on, oh, I can't reach him from here, uh-oh. Uh, that's a bit scary, but I guess I could do it from this way. There you go, um, just focusing on blockade. They should move over with that. Oh, Luigi is gonna hit you but maybe not exactly how I wanted it to be. Are you going to run over still? Sort of? Uh, I don't know if that's exactly how I wanted it. Let's work with you. You're gonna jump and slam and get over here again. Oh, but Robert Rosalina might get hurt from this, I'm just now realizing. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, there's not too much I can do about it. She still has her shield though, so hopefully that protects her. Come on, just a little bit over here. Would that be enough to explode the whole deal? Come on. Ah, not quite. That stinks. Um, is there anything more I could do? I could do this, but I don't think that's going to affect it. I don't think that's gonna make her, oh no. Um, the only thing I can think of here, is there any items that will add any extra turns, or any extra attacks? I don't think so. That overset cooldowns is great, but I think I'm in trouble here. I misplanned it. Um, we're gonna try this thing. Yeah, it just does four damage at a time. It'd be cool if that activated her slam, but it's not going to. So this is where things get a bit scary because as you can see, we just got Luigi hit for 700 damage. The rest of them are going to start moving in. But I think we'll be okay here. I think like we can make this work in just a second. But then we're in a huge trouble like with all the other enemies. Luigi might actually get taken down. So maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So obviously I've made some mistakes here. If we lose this one, I learned enough that we can keep Bowser alive next time. And that'd be a great start. Oh, we can dash it too. How much damage did that do? I don't think it did a ton. Um, does it say? Yeah, just six damage. Okay, so what we really want then is Luigi to get out of here because they're just too low on health. I can't quite reach that. Let's go ahead and let Luigi use a mushroom. I guess we'll use one of these super mushroom bags. I don't know, I, I might want to save that for a really bad situation. If we lose this one, it is what it is. I wanna work with these two. I can't dash into you anymore yet, because I already used the dash. And I don't wanna stand on this platform, because this whole thing is gonna break, as you can see there. And that's gonna damage us even farther. So, I think for now, I guess I could... Team jump you again. That gets you at least one little bit of shield. I'm still trying to find out exactly how I wanna do this because I want you to be at a very specific angle. I, I might have messed this up. Let's jump over like this then. It's scary, but I might just want to... Oh, I can't reach you from here. From here, maybe? Come on, please. Yes, okay, that'd be perfect. So let's do this. That'll make you move right on top of the TNT as far as I can tell exactly where we need you to be. That's where Luigi could actually cause some havoc too. So you know what? Let's first have Peach 
activate this because she's gonna take some damage here. I think it's unavoidable. The piece is gonna take a couple of hits. So there's that done. I wish you the best, Peach. I gotta get out of here because Luigi can blast them. They'll do the big slam. And then we can get Rosalina in a position where she can attack and bring them over to the last one. There we go, I can jump off of this. And I'm almost there, almost there. Okay, we'll leave you here for now. Switch over to Luigi and have you attack. Not the Goombas, but the blockade. So that hits her. She's gonna do another big slam. I'm sorry, Peach. But that does activate the shield, so we're fine. We still have a couple more hits on Peach we can take. And now, she's back over there. That's where we can get started working on some stuff with Rabbit Rosalina. I wanna get her to a very specific spot, right about here. Oh, but that doesn't reach. Uh-oh, okay, well I didn't think about that too much, but that's okay. In hindsight, we're still getting good positioning. So let's try this. The enemies are gonna get to move now, and I that's not where I want you. Uh, very unfortunate. And now it's going to get rid of Peach's final shield point. So the rest might actually end up hurting Peach quite a lot. We'll see. This one's going to go straight for Rapper Rosalina, but guess who had a shield? So that's good. A lot of these are just going to end up hitting the, uh, the slabs. So things are sort of working out here. Even though we haven't had Bowser the whole fight. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I just didn't realize that was going to happen. Oh, more enemies popping up. Bowser is just still sitting there with a headache. I guess we just jump and go. Okay, let's try jumping from this one. I could have just walked over to that, but doesn't matter either way. Uh, I hope I can just make it to all the ones I need to get to. There we go. See, this one's always a little bit tricky, but this is where we have Luigi on our side, so I think it's okay. Yeah, perfect. Let's get, it just really stinks that. It worked out this way. I think it's okay though. What we can do, we can jump over. And then just work from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Luigi, if you could work on getting her over here, just like, well, I guess we should get Luigi in the best position for it. It's not a ton, but it's something. So I think that's a good start. Okay, boom. Gotcha. She's gonna slam and then run over. We still have a lot more ground to cover though, so I don't know if it's gonna happen in this turn. Cause that's not gonna reach her, but. <laughs> that was a silly noise. Uh, maybe we could, once again, we're risking the health of our, of our teammates here, but. Cause Luigi has a shield on him now, so that's good at the least. Okay, get you about here. Dash and some more, more enemies, I guess. And this will move you over just a bit more. I think that's all we can do here, I think. We want to be safe about it. They actually didn't really move. Okay, that was odd. So you know what, I guess I'll just focus on these two. And we'll just try to get rid of them some more in the next turn. Not much more I can do about it. Uh, can Luigi, Luigi still has one more thing. Let's use another mushroom. Luigi's in sort of a risky position. Okay, uh, I guess we could, oh, we can't do Steely Stair now. So ending it there, next turn could really be it. Definitely without positioning. So we just need to survive until then. And I think that's exactly what we can do. Oh no. Oh, Luigi's shield coming into play there very nicely. That's not quite gonna hit Rabbit Rosalina. This one might though. Ooh, yeah, direct shot. More enemies are coming in. Which really stinks. Oh, she's so low on health. Another one gets to come out of there? That's just silly. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be it. So we have two more teammates left, but that's fine. That's, that should be enough in theory. I think it would be. So let's try this out then. Um, we need to get Luigi about here. Uh, if we could actually get them a bit farther, that might be even better. So let's see. First, get them a shield charge like this. Drop that. Drop it straight down. Luigi to do this right about here. So first things first, let's just blast you. Come on, I hope this is enough. 
slam. Walk over. Here we go. Here we go. Back over to you. This is it. Come on. That better explode. There it is. Way to go indeed, battle cleared. So while Bowser was barely in the fight, he does take the victory pose. We get ourselves another crystal. That was wild though. I can't wait to try Bowser a little bit more. The purified darkness energy crystal collected. That is awesome. Uh-oh. Guess Bowser wins this bout. Ooh, headache. All right, great job, everyone. Oh no. Who is that? I don't quite know. Uh. Edge knows. It must be Curse's ship. So does this mean that Edge was originally one of Curse's minions? Bowser's was not happy. So before it was a giant Goomba, this time it's a giant squash head. Is there anything else to do in this room before I go? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and take you on. Oh my. Uh-oh, uh oh watch out. <laughs> that was scary. All right, so they're just trying to squash us right now. Defeat giant squash at. So let's first take a look at the tactic cam and see what enemies we are about to take on. Over this way, we have the deep freezes, which are weak to burn, but resistant to frostbite, and the lone wolf, same deal with them with the weaknesses. Um, over this way, we have the giant squash at. Leaps high into the air, landing near as many opponents as, as possible to inflict a huge gust attack that sends them flying backwards. It cannot be dashed and it's resistant to every special type. So I have to be careful for that. The movement's pretty high. So we're gonna go ahead into our team. We're good to go. Let's try taking on this boss fight. Hmm. There's a lot going on here, but I think first and foremost, let's just get Luigi set up with the steely stare. And then blast one of them, you know? Just get one of those guys pretty beat up. And it's a critical too, so that's always nice to see. Bowser could probably, you know, get out somewhere and do a couple of things. So let's get Robin Peach out. And while these guys are together, it's definitely a good time to blast them with everything we got. So if Bowser has a uh, burn attack, spark he can use, and then just blast these two, I think that's a good idea. So. Could go, not Robin Mecha Koopas, whoops. Uh, these two, here we go. That might be better. I don't know if it's gonna influence which way they end up going, but. Oh, Luigi too, catches him out with that one. Oh, one of them's definitely going to explode here, just hoping that they don't move towards us. But the other one actually has quite a lot of health, but he's gonna hit his own friend. So, now we have Rabbit Peach, who's sort of out in the open at the moment, so maybe if I jump off of Luigi, yeah, that'd be a little bit better. I think we're just gonna keep them together, Rabbit Peach and Bowser. What a combo. Um, right about here. And I guess, do that, but I don't know what our second thing should do be. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should just do this. All right then, hit you with this. I don't think they can move over enough. I do have to be careful though, because you know we're already pretty close to the squash at. It gets really scary. But we're just gonna keep things like this just to lower the amount of enemies around. Um, pass the turn over to them and let's see how things go. And maybe things won't turn out perfect here. We'll have to try and see that hit me, unfortunately. Um, oh, and they're doing, ooh, they're villain sight now, huh? That's scary. We got the other wild claws moving, or the, whatever they are. Oh, they're up there. That's scary. Um, so I think Bowser could actually back up and not get hit. Oh, no, he does. He gets hit. Darn. Okay. He was on the very outskirts of it, so it's hard to tell. Bowser gets really beat up so far. Um, I would love to hit both of them. I don't know if that's going to work out. So first things first, we'll move over to Rabbit Peach and make sure that everybody is getting healed up pretty well. Healing vibes, literally. And then I want to team jump over here. Well, actually, I don't need to team jump over here. Uh, could I attack from here? I can't reach it from here though, darn. Um, I'm a little bit worried. Let's see what the, the range is for you. We haven't done any damage to you just yet. As you can see, um, the movement's pretty far, and then the attack range. You can see there's a big white circle. 
I think that's maybe where she can just jump to. It's hard to tell. Um, okay. Where's the farthest I can go while still being able to attack you? I guess here. I could walk up and pyro get in first though. Walk up. Okay, that was, I'm so silly, I forgot. I was so focused in on what I was doing there. I'm so silly. All right, it's fine though. I can still dash you, use pyro get in, and then just run away. I don't know if that's the best idea. Oh, well, she's resistant to it. See, that was really silly, actually. In hindsight, I, I shouldn't have done that at all. But, um, it's okay. Uh-oh, run, Rabbit Peach. Run, run. I can't make her move at all right now. There we go. I'm fine. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get her to team jump off of Bowser, if not anything else, but just to land back down. Just like that. And get her way over here or something. Um, I know that there's still that guy over there. Can't team too much about him. I would like to do this. Um, sure. There's nothing that like boosts our attack, really. Um, so I'll just hit you with this thing. It's 800 damage, it's something, you know? Um, I would like to maybe get over there. Which I sort of thought this through a bit more, didn't, didn't I? Okay, so maybe I'll activate some of these guys, Rob and Mecha Koopas. And they're mostly gonna go for him. Which at the end of the day is not so bad. And then I might just wanna hide him over here, to be honest. If my concern is that guy, I can do this. Hide back here, poor Bowser's too big for the, the half slabs. And just blast her. This is definitely a bit scary, and we need to spread them out more next turn, but it's hard to do that in this situation. Let's pass it for now. There's not anything more I can do. Um, it doesn't seem like it. Let's pass the turn. You're gonna get hurt, which is pretty good. The rest of them are going to try to reposition a little bit, but there's not too many more left. My problem is if we focus too many, too much on these enemies, it can sometimes be not so worth it. This is where we need to move Luigi away, uh, because if not, those enemies are gonna spawn right on top of them and that won't be so good. Okay, so, oof, there's not really too much of a way I can get farther than that because the shoe's gonna walk over there or something. I guess I'll just keep them, I guess about here, just, yeah, let's try this then. I'll blast you and then, I guess we'll just activate Hero Sight. Some Steely Stare or whatever it's called. See how that works out. Then, Back over to you guys. Bowser can't quite get over there, but Peach, same deal. Okay, this is a little scary for sure. I'm trying to just move our teammates in different spots so that at the least she can't hit all of us at once. Only problem is I do that in one spot, I get in trouble in another, you know what I mean? Uh, can't quite reach them over there, but I could do the splash attack and then knock at least one of them off the side. Uh, maybe not. I was hoping I could hit them and it would splash them too. Yikes, okay, the angling's tough. I'll just hit you directly. It's the least it'll knock you farther back. Luigi's gonna go for that one. Maybe not entirely what I intended. I should have put the, the Steely Steer on last. Uh, and I guess I'll put you about here. It feels a little scary, especially with that portal. But no matter what, they're gonna move in a way that hits us. You know what I mean, I think? So we'll just try this for now. <laughs> But at least with this, we're not all getting hit at once, which really makes it a lot easier to figure out. Okay, so yeah, you're not gonna be so kind. Ouch, that was really painful. And they're all gonna do their villain shots now. Luigi gets hit too. And then you're gonna walk a little bit more over. Cool, and that knocks us far off. Look at how much damage that did. This is a crazy fight, I could already tell. We might have to try different strategies to get through this because she has so much health, and more than that, there's just, there's so many enemies. It's hard to prioritize the right thing here. We're sort of a sitting duck at this situation, so I think we just blast you. And then I could activate some rabid Mecha Koopas. Going back over to Luigi, Luigi can't budge. Well, I guess that wastes the villain shot, so that's good. Yeah, you beat up a little bit more. Um, Rabbit Peach is in a decent spot, but the problem is, you know, this is so scary. Uh, 
I might just want to dash me for some extra damage, you know, getting started with it. But where could I go that's safe? You know what I mean? Um, I don't really know. So I might just want to heal. 40% HP, it's something. And then just attack you as much as I can. But she's not even at 10, like under 10,000. It's crazy how much health she has and all the enemies were thrown at us. This one feels, I forgot. Uh, sorry, Luigi. That really sinks. And I think about it, that really, really sinks. We're gonna get you over here. I need to focus on this guy. Um, the shockwave gust sounds good to me. Just to do as much damage to them as we can manage. And they're gonna go over here, so now I can just dash into them and unfortunately not finish them off. You gotta be kidding me. So I'll blast them with this. We get that tiny little sliver of health gone. And now it's their turn to move. And Bowser's gonna get hit with that one. He's getting lower and lower. This is looking worse and worse. So I think we might have to try some kind of different setup for this. That really stinks. Cause you know, I'm obviously trying to boss, but this is a tough fight. Cause separating them maybe isn't working out so well. Cause I can't like group heal them. I think getting Princess Peach out here would be a good one because that, all that shielding can be so helpful right about now. Cause now I'm just stuck with Luigi. Bowser and Peach are defeated. There's no way. Yeah, this one's not winnable, unfortunately. Um, so I think we might just go ahead and restart the battle now just to save ourselves some time. Okay, I'm trying some different things. So we're going to do Rabbit Mario, Princess Peach, and Edge. And with that, we got them to level four. So I guess I'll get like maybe the Toxic here. That might be my best bet. I don't really know if I want to use too much of these other things. Uh, so we'll try this out like that. Um, when it comes to our team, I do need to heal them in a moment, but Princess Peach has five points. There's gotta be something we can invest in, right? We could do a wider shot. We could do extra dashes are always good. The team barrier discharge produces an explosion upon team barrier thing. I think it'd be better. Um, gives an additional team barrier charges. Ooh, that sounds so good. I might go with that. The range. Yeah, let's go with that. Extra charge. There we go. So I'm down to one point, which I could do for range. There we go. Those barriers are so, so important. So I think that's what I should focus on for now. Um, when it comes to Rabbit Mario, who has all these points, we could do the... Rabbit Mario is able to move after attacking just seems so good to me. So we have the points for that one. Let's invest in it. And then I have one point left over. Is there anything more I want to do? The movement range is always good, especially if I can move after. So wait, did I... Oh no, I did the wrong one. Oh, it requires two. Is there anything that I can upgrade that requires one? Heal sponge, but I'm not gonna get healed this round. Uh, I don't think so then. Well, critical hit chance. I think it's better to save the point. <laughs> we'll keep it like that when it comes to edge. Dash increments, increments move. That could be good actually. I'm gonna go for that, because we're so dash focused with Edge right now, might as well just max everything out there. So that's gonna be my plan for this one. Hopefully this goes better, because if not, it's just so difficult. This whole thing is very challenging. And it's great, because you know, I've taken on every challenge up until now. So you think we'd be a little bit more equipped for it, but so far it is quite a challenge. But let's try to defeat Squash Ed. The only problem is we're a bit more close range with everything here, but I think we'll just do our best to make that work regardless. So the first things first is I'm going to get Peach out here, and I think, where can Rabbit Mario move? Just about the same spots that Peach can move. So let's get Peach about here. There we go. Back over to Rabbit Mario. Here goes. Now he's shielded right now. It's not a ton, but it's something. That way I can activate the burn attack and just really bring it to these two guys to start things off. Just like that. And then activate our punch. Not the counter blow, the punch. It's not enough to fully defeat them? When I say that, it might be. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's go for a couple of swings here. Ooh. And of course, they're going to implode, but with Rabbit Mario's new ability, as soon as we get the chance to, oh, that's right, I still have my dash. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, that should make that one explode. I hope this is far enough away. It is. It didn't hurt them, usually it does. That's very weird. Um. And where can, Edge can't get very far. Okay, I thought the Edge could move farther than that. That's really unfortunate. Um, next turn though, for sure. In the meantime, I don't know. I guess we'll just hang out. Um, yeah, nobody is actually under good cover at the moment, which is really silly. I might be able to get Peach to walk over and just blast you. It's not enough to finish you off, which is just so, so silly. Um, 
I could activate this, but I wouldn't reach. I wish I could undo the turn so I could activate this or something. That probably would have been a better move, but I didn't think I needed it, so... I don't know if those shields expire after one turn. We're gonna see. I mean, I guess we want to because it's gonna get attacked here, but that's okay. I think Peach is definitely the way to go. Just shielding instead of healing seems to be working out more on average. And you're gonna move a little bit over, but not enough to do anything. So this is where we really just gotta get together and start fighting our way through things. I think using that shield will be pretty big here. So let's get edge over as close as we can without activating either of those, which is right about here. First things first, and we go ahead and do the shield move like that, the team barrier. And I think we just brute force the villain sight. Um, so if they do attack us, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna move, yeah, you're gonna try to attack me. It's fine. <laughs> that to hurt. <laughs> that to hurt. All right, then. So I dash you to finish you off. You're not gonna be so happy with that in the last me, but there's the villain sight gone. Um, you're going to explode now, so we need to run. Okay, never mind, didn't happen. I have one more of those left, but there's no more people with villain sight. So I could just go right over here. I could try this. 50% of the damage intended for the hero is redirected towards the enemy. Would that be better than this? Foes using weapon attacks are immediately, it deals 100%, so this is better. I could go with the counter blow. I can, before we do anything crazy, I need to do a couple of things. First, we need to get Edge over somewhere more productive than this. This isn't working out for them. Um, we need to get you over here. We're keeping everybody together at the moment, which is a little scary. Maybe that's not what I should be doing, but I need to get Edge somewhere where she can actually um, dash people soon. In the meantime, let's give you another charge, or ridiculous amount of charges right now. Um, and maybe about over here would be nice. This would be great, actually, because I could either activate that or activate the punches. Maybe the punches, or the punches, the, um, the turbo charge would be better for now. Let's give it a try, so I can really try to bring it the next turn. I can activate that. So first things first, um, I will go to Rabbit Mario. We will punch. I would hope to find an angle where I can get both of them. But we'll have to wait and see. Here we go, here we go. Let's bring out those dukes and punch, punch, punch. There we go, and that gets rid of them, so that's one less enemy to deal with regardless. Back over to Edge. I think I'm just gonna go for this. Pretty good. That was actually a ton of damage. Okay, this is going so much better than last time. That is for sure. Then we go with the Storm Blade, just in case. I know that the other big guy is probably gonna move instead, but that's all I can do for this turn. We're gonna end it. You're gonna blast Mario, but Mar Robin Mario has a shield. And we punched you back. No, that's not what I wanted. That's sort of a shame, but we still have all these shields working in our favor. And this is why I think the shields are better than healing in this game. So far, it's proven to be so good. Oh, and Rabbit Mario does get launched from that one. So that one did damage. I guess he ran out of shields because he was sprunting the most of them before. Uh, but we can help out over here. Just give him an extra shield. And I could just get her back. I don't know if that was a good idea. Should have thought about it a little bit. Uh, we have some options for right now. I wish I could just dash into her. That would be so nice right now. I'm almost at you. Let's see how far Rabbit Mario can go. Decently far. So I could really just do away with a claw here. Oh wait, can I? Yeah, I just gotta move it over a little bit more. What we do, jump over and get rid of you. I could do the water dash as well. So I did the water dash, splash dash, you know. <laughs> Send you flying off the edge, gonna respawn, do the same thing again and again. So splash, boom. And again, splash, boom, and I think we can do that one more time. And that's awesome enough to defeat you, so you won't even explode. That's amazing. Back over here then, we throw our flying blade at you, land a good chunk more, extra criticals getting in there too. Amazing stuff. Back over to Robin Mario. He can find a better way around, I'm sure. And he has the shield too, so actually, Mm -hmm. Maybe you should have thought about exactly how I want to line this up. I wonder if I could just walk up to her and punch. I can, that's amazing. So let's get the dukes out, throw those punches. And if this is the closest I can get, it's a little unfortunate, but where can Peach move? That's the farthest she can really go. But I could 
this might not accomplish anything. We'll see. I want to see how close I can fly over because I want to make sure that my spark works on her and not someone else to so reflect. So far, we're doing so good, though. Um, back over to you. Who can I hit with this? There's only one enemy coming out right now, right over there. That's not gonna do anything. So Peach can't really do too much here. Besides if we wanna do move boost, which I probably should have thought about earlier. But now I can move all the way over here, dash straight into you so that now you're not a worry. This is looking a lot better past the turn. Oh, I could have blasted her. Why didn't I do that? I don't know, I'm so silly. Oh, unfortunately, Edge gets gusted off the side. And it's just that big guy coming in now. So this is where things are looking really, really nice for us. I think first things first, we're going to walk all the way over here. I'm just trying to position myself in increasingly better scenarios. And obviously this doesn't do a ton because of damage fall off, but we're gonna start with that. Maybe I could have put a shield on Rabbit Mario in hindsight, but it's okay. Can I reach you from here? I can. So there's that going out. Very nice. And then back over to you. What can I do? I mean, first things first, we can still just punch. Go for it. So we have her less than half health. This is looking good. And we move Rabbit Mario, maybe over this way. There's no ranged opponents running around right now. So just trying to keep that in mind and make the most of it. There we go. And the turn like that, I probably could have made somebody use a mushroom or something in hindsight, but it's okay. Oh, that does get Peach. I was not expecting that there. Okay, so what do we wanna do here is something is making its way over that way. Once again, I could immediately just get the punch out. One, two, four. Amazing, one, two, four. And then I will activate the counter blow. Hopefully that's all we need. And then, ah, oh, darn, okay, I should've, there's a, there was a definitely a better way to do this, but in the meantime, what I could do, right about here, let's get Edge over as close as we possibly can manage and see if we activate this, it would hit both of them. Amazing. All right then, so now we're all shielded up and ready just to do some more damage. But before I do, you know what? I might've missed my chance on Rabid Mario. I can still turbocharge ourselves and, oh, now I can't attack. I didn't think about that. I guess I should have saved it for next turn. But I can at the least throw the sword at you. And if anybody even thinks about moving, we can hit them with this, the Stormblade. Okay, we're in a much better scenario now, I think, just to sort of finish this off. But I'm gonna pass the turn. This guy's moving over, and Edge is unfortunately gonna use that to attack them, which is not really what I wanted. But the shielding, it's working great. I think we could even possibly win this turn. I'll have to just wait and see. There we go. That shield is so good. Because even blocks against special attacks and things. We are running low on them now. That's gonna be the last one for Edge, but that's all we needed. How much more damage can we do to you? A decent chunk here. I might as well go all in with this. Give an extra little bit of shield to Edge. Walk right here, because the closer we are with Peach's Blaster, the more damage it does. So get right here. We're gonna hit you with this thing. And then use the Pyrogeddon, just to hurt these guys a little bit. Get them out of my, my hair a little bit. Fire is raining down on a bunch of them. They're gonna run a little bit farther off, so that's good. Well, actually, then they run back over. <laughs> you know what I could do, though? Switching back over to Edge, I have this stuff available again. So I could start dealing with them. I think that's maybe my best bet here, then. Use the Splash Dash. <laughs> and try to get them and hit both of them at once. Move it. So if you move it, guys. That just says that you do it, you just get out of the way. Okay, this is where things get a little tricky, but I could dash you off the side and you're not gonna be able to damage anyone because of that, so that's great. And then you over here. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's enough to take you out. I would need one more dash, so maybe we'll leave it like that and move Edge over this way. And why I wanna do that is first off, we can attack you pretty easily, then we can get Rabbit Mario to team jump off of you, walk right in front, and then just hit you. So maybe I didn't even have to worry about all that, but doesn't matter too much. Drop you down right here and go for the final punch on the, uh, the giant boss here, the tiny dancer. There we go, we finally did it, battle cleared. Okay, that took a lot of work. No. Oh. Oh, she's not happy. Uh, 
This is so cool. It's moving quick too. Oh wow. We'll get there real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh, the real deal, the legal is chasing us. Oh no. Oh Mia. But can we outspeed it? Whoa, look at us go. That's awesome. Here we come. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, watch out, watch out. It's still behind us. It's tailgating us. Oh no. Bowser's not happy about it. Oh no. Whoa, one angry wiggler. What is this? Destroy the darkness eye. This is so cool. All right, well, I'll do what I can to get through this one then. Before we get a big train wreck, we gotta get all the eyes off of it. Destroy the darkness eye, there's 16 of them, and there's only 12 turns before defeat. So that makes things really complicated. If we take a look at the map here, we can see one of the eyes there, but I guess as it keeps moving, we'll maybe see more of them. Yeah, I only see three for now. But there's also plenty of enemies to deal with too. So of course we will need some gust. We will need some uh, shock and some burn. So a good mixture of things would probably be useful. Let's change our team up a little bit here then. I think this is a nice long wide one. Or not so wide, but it's very long. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then I think we'll keep with Peach. What if I go with Edge? Because all the disasters are so good. Now, if we go to our heroes here. Do any of them need some extra points? I don't think so. I'm really starting to think I should put the other golden orb on edge, but we don't have too many points anyway, so we'll see, but we'll see. But for right now, let's go to Sparks, because what did we need? We needed some electric ones, we needed fire. There's a lot we could do here, so let's try something like this. And then maybe a spark one on Actually, I don't know. For Luigi, I definitely want to change some things up here for sure. I think we will do, yeah, I think we'll change this. What we'll do is get this and get it like this, then get Zephyr Quake. Put that there. That might be a bit better. I'm liking the look of it. I think we'll stick with this then and hope for the best. Unless I want to do Electro Dash instead, that could be good. Let's try that out, and then I'll level it up to four and the same thing for the other one. So, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to upgrade. We, we have a decent chunk of star, but I don't know if I'll have enough to upgrade the other one. So I think we'll just keep it like that for now. Um, and when it comes to healing, I think some, some people might need some extra health, so we'll organize that real quick. Yeah, we definitely do. So, heal our team. Make sure everybody's nice and healthy and ready for this big battle. Let's get go for it. Um. So first things first, I do see some eyes that, whoa, that's not good. Some eyes that we can maybe go for, the, the Wiggler's running ahead, so that does change things, a good chunk. I think I'll start with Rabbit Edge, because we do have some enemies out this way, and remember, these guys are weak to Gust, which um, Edge doesn't have too much of an advantage on, but as long as we can just get up there a little bit, something like this, and then I could, I only have this one person to go against, so maybe it's not worth it to do anything too crazy. We're gonna do Stormblade, and then dash into you, and then attack you with that, because they do have a lot of health. These are some tough enemies that we're going against at this point. And then, one more time. Then I stay about here. Hit you with everything I got. It's not a ton, but it's something. Then we can work on the other set. So Luigi, we don't want to send out too far. Because could Luigi hit one of the eyes from here? Unfortunately not, because that's sort of the thing. And you know, I, I've seen people mention that. Of course, obviously I want to stay as far away as possible. I, I've mentioned it before, but we also have a maximum range for Luigi. So we can't just have them all the way in the back at all times. We need to be able to balance it. And on top of that, sometimes we need our teammates for things like team jumps and stuff. So even though his range is worth maximizing, we also need to worry about his positioning and other factors too. Okay, so even though he needs to be farther back, let's send him always close enough that maybe I can hit a darkness eye. That's what I'm looking for right now. And unfortunately, I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm going to team jump off of you to see if maybe just here would be good enough. And if it's not, 
Not a big deal. Okay, I can hit one of them. Yeah. There you go. Boom. That's one out of 12. Remember, we have a limited amount of turns to get all this stuff done, so that is super important. Let's go ahead and get that steely stare nice and ready. And I think with that, there's not too much more I can do here. I could up damage and stuff, but I don't think that's worth doing just yet. Maybe I could get the shield going, but I think I might want to save it for next turn. So let's pass the turn for now. I think out of all this, Princess Peach might get a bit hurt, but it looks like they're activating their villain sight. Okay, well, good to know. There goes Luigi blasting that guy pretty good. And actually, we'll go for edge of that hurt. Oh no, that's a bit painful. Here comes another one too, so we might see the same deal twice. Oh, poor Peach, really getting beat up there. So I think this time we'll try the shield. Because there's a lot of them there waiting for us. And the Wiggler bumping against us even more, getting rid of some more of that shield. And it's moving back too. So what can Luigi do here? I think Luigi's gonna go for that one maybe. First things first, let's just walk up here Activate the shield, just like that. That should work pretty well. See, now we can move around pretty freely and just deal with stuff. So if I wanted just to blast this thing, I could. I could go for those two, but I think just focusing on this for now is a guaranteed takedown. Luigi can focus on the other one right here, and that's gonna be all three of them down for the count that are currently up there. So I can do a double dash here. Let's actually activate the electricity here because these guys are weak to it. <laughs> All right, you guys are in trouble. There you go. And it has that big chain effect. Still not quite them taken out, but we have three more dashes to make the most of it. And we still have plenty of shielding too. So I don't see any more of the Dark Miss eyes for now. I'm going to go back through here. I might get into some trouble with this guy, but that's why we have the shield. So I want to deal with it now. Unfortunately, I can't get too much farther but I could still hit them pretty good like this. So I'm glad we can make the most of that one. Not too much more I can do here besides like use an item or something. Not really worth it for the time being. We're gonna save that. Ooh, that shield really coming in useful. You're gonna move over and probably do more of the same, right? They're all positioning. The question is, when will more eyes pop up? Ooh. Hopefully soon, because the portals are coming in, they're breaking more boxes, and five more eyes are popping in. So let's see what these ones, Peach can actually, is in a fantastic position to get rid of some of them. Unfortunately, specials like these don't really work for it, but as you can see, we can hit all three of them, no problem. If I'm going to do that then, um, a couple of things I could keep in mind. First things first, I should jump off of Luigi, and maybe position even over here, because somebody's able to spawn in on that side. So I think doing this one. Last that, and there's three of them gone right away. Luigi, I think we wanna move somewhere better than this. Maybe even just right over here. It's somewhere safe, you know? Um, I'm thinking right about here. It can be a little bit scary though. I'm just afraid of whatever's gonna spawn in on that side being a problem. Uh, for now, this is fine. I could also, with Rabbit Edge, I'm trying to find, is there a good way I could attack one of them and hit the both of them? I don't think so. So, I think we just, First things first, if I were, if somebody were to hit this barrel, it would hurt me. So I need to pay attention to that positioning, but we're just gonna march up here really quickly and do the uh, sky rain burn. There we go. All right then, so everybody's running around on fire. That was pretty good. And then actually, Get rid of two of them, and you're in a perfect position for me just to start dashing you like crazy, just over and over. There's one dash, here's a second dash. There's a third, here's a fourth. So I'm hoping what I can do here, it's gonna be a little tricky, but I might be able to hit this and hit you, I can find just the right perfect angle for it. It wouldn't, or would it? I mean, I think it would, but it might not take them out well, for this one, it's not even saying it's going to... That, that will hit. So let's do this. Okay, got them. Good enough, I'll take it. Now back over to Luigi, who's right over here. Could we hit that? Not that, but this. Yes, we can. I don't think there's any other enemies over that way, so we should be safe for now. I don't know what enemy's about to pop out from that side, but we're going to steely steer just to be ready for him. 
And I think with that, there's not too much more I can do here, unless I want to fill up with a mushroom real quick. I think that sounds like a good idea. So there's that, and now we're good. Enemies are popping back up this time. They get silly steered right away. Hit for 922, that's a great start. And they're not gonna go for Luigi. Another one's gonna pop out of there. This time it is a not so fun to deal with. But they still couldn't reach us, so that's good stuff. More than that though, where are the eyes? We are now eight eyes down. So we need four more, right? I think so, so let's find out. I might not, well actually, there's a lot more than four. Did I miscount? Um, I might have. Oh, we need to destroy 16 of them. I thought there was only six, 12. So let's see how I can do this one. First things first, there's so many. There's not really any enemies popping up over this fight and no uh, things yet either. So that's good. What are they called? The, uh, Okay, this one's scary, but uh. Oh, I can hit so many of them. This is worth the risk of taking damage, I think. Absolutely. Five of them in one shot is a crazy, crazy amount. So we're gonna move Luigi over to this side. And let's see how I can maybe position Rabbit Edge to get rid of two at once. If I could, that'd be huge. Oh, right here maybe? Would that work? Only one way to find out and just give it a toss. It doesn't. That's sort of a shame that it doesn't affect it that way. But either way, all we have to do here, right, is get Luigi to get rid of the one, and then move over to the next one next turn and just be done. That should be the last one we're waiting for. So yeah, we're good to go. Peach is in a bit of a bad position, but it's okay, because it's only one more turn we have to survive here before we defeat this angry, angry Wiggler. Ooh. Peach actually getting pushed over to us a little bit closer, so that's nice. And they're not gonna move. They're just gonna stay right here, so this should be it. Oh boy. I actually moved in a more convenient spot too. So we just literally just go over with Rabbit Edge and hit this thing with everything we got. And there we go, battle cleared. Whoa. And look at that, a purified darkness energy crystal obtained. Exactly what we want to see. So lots of health for everybody. Everyone's gonna get to level 22 as well. So we did a great job with this one. Super happy to see it. And we get Sullivan as a memory. Uh-oh. Oh, back to normal. Poor Wiggler. Hope it's okay. Bye! Sorry for the trouble. Hope you feel better. We're ready to take you on. Whoa. Hi. Ah! Spooky. All right, so the giant depleter scares us a little bit here, but we're ready to take it on. Okay, so, defeat the giant depleter. I think we might wanna change up our setup here, but first let's take a look at everything. We already got, of course, a flame suture, so splash will be important. We definitely wanna make sure we're suited up for this one. Flash and frostbite, or splash and frostbite, um, and more of the same. What about you, the giant depleter? Oversized and aggressive opponent that gets in close or stores some of its health at the expense of its opponents with each successful assault. Its technique allows it to immediately respond to attacks with a counterattack. Oh boy. So as you can see, it's undashable and of course is resistant to all special effects. So we need to be careful about all that kind of stuff. So if I want to maybe change my team up at least a little, take on this boss fight and just hope for the best. I'm a little nervous of course, but how can I not be? These fights are usually really, really challenging. Let's get Peach maybe like here for now. I'm not sure quite yet. But actually, let's just get her to a spot where the rest of the team can jump off of her pretty far. How far can Rabbit Mario go? Pretty far out there. So something like this. Got it. So I'll have Rabbit Mario go this way. There are some enemies over there. And I'm a little nervous that maybe this was a poor idea considering. <laughs> Uh, yeah, might have been, might have been. Uh, you know what? We'll throw out a couple of punches out. One. That is some crazy damage upgrade. I'm so glad we got that. And we'll do some return damage too. So, Rapid Mario is ready with some of that. Back over to Peach. I could first just get Rapid Luigi to, because yeah, there's not as many to chain up here as I was expecting, yeah. hoping for. Maybe just get you over here, dash into you, and try this out. I'll try that 
wild call when enemies are a bit closer, because I don't know if that just lasts for a turn or what the deal is, but unfortunately can't quite reach you. Hmm. Okay, what can Peach do here then? I think, well, if we position ourselves well enough. Ah, so close. Actually, Rabbit Mario can still move. Here we go. Everybody should be shielded, not quite. Everybody should be shielded. Nice. I just hope that that can get back up pretty soon. But in the meantime, I'm not as afraid to get Rabbit Mario out there. Go back with Peach. I could just blast you like this, but it might not quite do enough, especially since I have the chance to send them flying with this and doing a bunch more damage. We'll see. And it could also restore our point, depending on if the odds fall in our favor. Not quite this time. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave you there then. Pass the turn. Take it easy. And that's just going to be how we take them out, I guess. You're gonna move over. Yeah, a couple of them are working on that. Maybe having Luigi on our team would have been good too. I was thinking with how they were sort of standing, we could maybe just chain up a lot of rapid Luigi attacks. We could still. It just might be a bit challenging. Okay, so here com comes you. We still have a little bit of shielding, so that's nice. And let's get started with stuff. So first, dash into you. It's not enough to finish you off, but get you pretty close to it. And then same deal with you, really. Get you over. And I'm just trying to get the whole team over as much as I can, but obviously not always the easiest thing. Come on, come on. It's not too bad. Maybe from here I could hit you like this. That would be nice. Before we go about it, let's get everybody's damage boosted. I think that's a good idea. Then, march you back over here. Hit you with some damage. It's not a ton, it's not a ton. Oh, and you're going to hit us back. Oh my goodness, you're really gonna hit us back. Okay, Uh, good to know. I could go with the splash attack, but I can't really reach him too much anyways. I can finish you off, that'd be great. Um, if I'm going to do that, I might as well position it like this so that we can be protected too. Sure. So one more enemy taken down with a nice critical too, so that's working out. And remember, we don't want to... Okay, this is fine, I think. We don't want to use any kind of um, special effect just yet because it won't really benefit with damaging you. The problem is they can just return everything so much. See, won't they attack us back? Oh, they won't. Maybe that's only one per turn then. Okay, so this turn might be a little bit rough. We'll see. But I think we'll be okay. There's only one more opponent over there. They're gonna move around, but once they get a little bit closer, we can maybe just dash them. More opponents are gonna pop up soon. Wow, that did so much. That did so much. I would like to move everybody a bit closer. We're only one more turn away from more shielding, so. Let's do this. Get everybody closer together, because I want to try this. It seems like so much fun. Um, summon the Wild Claw. Let's see what you can do, big guy. This is so cool. Oh, 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 oh come on. Boom, 1,400 damage. Don't mind if I do. And hit you with one of these if I wanted to? Sure, let's go for it. Hit you with one of these. Now, Wild Claw is still here. It's a very cool looking Wild Claw, too. Um, switching back over to Peach. I think I want to, well, actually, Rabbit Mario, go ahead and use a Super Mushroom Bag. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> okay. Um, if you a couple more good punches. Looking good. Oh, they tried to get up, they just couldn't. So, I might just wanna do a bit of this. Gotcha. We're damaging them down quite a lot here. So, um, oh, and we have one more. We could do the same thing with you two. Just use a normal mushroom. With a wild claw attack again, though. That's what I'm really curious about. So, we're gonna end the turn like that. They are pretty bunched up, though, and I didn't really think about that. Luckily, only hurting Peach. I mean, I'd rather Peach not get hurt, but you know what I mean. It has to happen, then it has to happen. Some more Stooges are coming out, though, and that's concerning. Oh, no, and it put Peach on fire, too. What are the odds? See, I don't know if that wild claw will attack this turn. Does it just hang out forever, or what? But the Flame Stooges, Fire Stooges, whatever they are coming out is a bit of an ongoing issue. 
Oh, here you go again. That is so cool. It's still here. It is so good. Now is a great time to get some shields set up. So team barrier, here we go. I can't attack you with any kind of special. So we're just going to boot this up. If it's working, it's working. You're gonna attack us back. But look what we have, some shields. It even applies the shield to our wild claw. That's amazing. All right, so heading with this. I'm waiting to use the funky fo footwork. Maybe I shouldn't because it also does make them vulnerable to damage. Um, I can't slide attack you. So we're just going to go for some more punches and then return it. But I think next turn we'll do the uh, funky footwork. Okay. Got it. And I will try to separate some people so that we're not all taking the brunt of the damage all at the same time. These sieges are making their way over and that does get a little bit scary, but I'm just still trying to force my way through a lot of this. I wish that didn't happen. Um, Cause I wanted to use that against the boss fight. There's so much, it's crazy. And I could walk over there and do a bit of cleanup, but I don't think it's necessary just yet, especially, you know, we've got these shields coming in. Oh, that wild claw didn't like that. You gotta be careful. Well, what we definitely wanna see what this giant uh, depleter's health is looking like. Because when they life steal, they're taking some health back. And that's where things get really complicated and very, very difficult. But Wild Call gets to attack right away, getting 1900 damage critical. It is getting low, so it does have its own health. Can we team jump off of it? Nah, that would have been so cool. Okay, so. How much? 7,700 7, and something. So, you know what we could do to really stack on some damage here? If I were to. I, I definitely need to get a better positioning with it something around here I think would be great and I would like to just hit them with it there we go very funky footwork so I'm hoping I can hit the boss and some of them but so far the answer to that doesn't seem to be likely because obviously I could take out a bunch of these guys and that might be an okay idea but I don't know I need to fight them off it's only a little bit though. So you know what? Yeah, let's save ourselves some headache here, potentially. Wait, did I do the peach damage boost? Oh no, I don't think I did. Oh, that could have been a huge difference maker. Darn. Okay. No way, and Mario wasn't even in the range. I'm making all these mistakes. Okay, so you know what? Let's team jump off of somebody. Rabbit Luigi might end up needing it. So let's do that. We can get right back over here. The last you with Everything I got, yep, everything. Just like that. And then we're going to use a uh, big mushroom. Super mushroom bag sounds good to me. Now they might be able to steal some of that health back, unfortunately, but there's only so much I can do about it, right? So I guess for now I could give you a good couple more punches. And then we could get to work beating some of these guys up some other way, right? And I think the way to do that is to get over here and start dashing them. Ugh, couldn't quite reach all the ones I wanted, but it's still, you guys. And you know what, I could have I could have done some water dashes, but that's okay. Instead, I only have one item I can use here, so could do a move boost. Could do, cleansing elixir is not too important right now. I think health isn't too low. This feels silly to use given the circumstance. I wish I could use both of them. Uh, could reset cooldowns. I'll just leave it. I think we'll be fine just like this. Oh. Rapid Luigi gets a little, actually not really beat up by it, but the burn is not so good. Because I think both of them can get attacked at once. And that's just concerning because that just means more life steal for the boss. This is where I think we just keep trying to... Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so much health. 233 times, so... 690 health back? Oh no, poor Luigi getting pretty beat up at the moment, but once we get through this, we'll be okay. It's just taking a while. I think something else is going to jump out of there in a moment. You're kidding me, how many things can pop out of one portal? Poor rabbit Luigi. I don't know if he's gonna make it out of this, he will, okay. So, first things first, oh, we don't have enough. What can I do with my buddy here? I think, for now, find out who can dash. And dash two people right there. And then I could, maybe, the problem is I'm risking a lot if this doesn't get a takedown, so. 
I think we go for it, though. We use a splash attack. I need to get rid of these guys for his own well-being. If these can knock them off. Almost, yes. Okay, it worked, it worked. We're fine, then. Um, For now, I hope. You over here. You're in trouble. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, I could do a couple. I could splash dash like this. Knock you off. It over there? Okay, luckily it worked, but that was sort of weird. And then you two, you're done for. Who's next? Who's next? This guy is next. We're gonna give you quite the punching, quite the battering. And since you're right in front, I think we're gonna have Peach. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the return attack. Uh, guess I should have done this first. It's okay, because now we got it done. And I want to blast you with everything we got here, so I think doing this is our best bet for now. I am a little concerned about Rabbit Mario, but we're getting so close to winning this. So, so close. So whoever can just boost up their health by like a mushroom or two, however we can make it happen, that's what we need to focus on for right now. So pass the turnover. There's not too, more en too many more enemies left. And not too many of them are actually gonna move here. You're gonna go for Robin Mario, which is perfect because he was shielded. Um, so with only a little bit of health left, what can we do here? I'm tempted to spawn that wild claw back in. You are at 4202 health, so 4202 health. Uh, let's first get Rabbit Luigi to jump over this way so I can spawn in that wild claw and then just heal him to full with a mushroom. So first. There we go, this wild call is insane. I like this. I wonder if there'll be more like this, spawning in more enemies. Because most of them have just been like, you know, status effects, not this one. So maybe before I do, let's try to see if we can just finish them. Um, we'll do the counter blow. We'll punch you. That'll do quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed, but not enough. So let's try this. We're going to hit you with this. It's so close to being enough. It's so close. Uh, nobody else can attack, right? So we are going to shield. There we go. Nobody else can really move. Well, Mario, Rabbit Mario can move, so maybe that'd be a good idea. Let's get some, it'll be worth the risk at this point. You know, just heal up with some mushrooms. And we can't do that with Rob and Mario, so it's gonna hold on tight. If everything turns out as it should, we should win here. Most of them are focusing on the Wild Claw, which is great for us. Of course, this attack is gonna be a little scary. And now they have the counter blow, but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. They're coming over, but I don't, I don't care. There's one more. Are they gonna do anything? Is it her turn already? There's one more portal, of course. So there's another one, and... Another. And another? Of course. Another. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so back to us, finally. Wild Call is trying to make some moves. I'm gonna start with Rapid Mario. Would this be enough to defeat this guy? It will be! Okay, we do it! On the first try, even if it was a very rough try, we get through. I have to use a ton of mushrooms, but a battle one is a battle one. Okay, so great job to everyone. 370 experience, quite a lot. And that should be our last planet coin awarded. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Hello? Oh, this is spooky. Uh-oh, something's up. What is that? Whoa! That's not mama. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good at all. We're going up! Run, Mario, run! This is not good at all. So while we don't know their name yet, we definitely know that that's another one of Curse's main villains. So we're just going to go against him right now, the Hunter of the Mesa. All right then, defeat Daphne. Sure. Look. Whoever that is took the real Mama prisoner. I told you that last transmission sounded fishy. Oh no. So we have to save Mama and defeat yeah. Daphne. You little. Meow, meow. 
Now, now, Edge. Best to keep a clear, a, a clear ahead. You need to play the long game here. Are you going to run away again in order to save your own skin? Let me use a mama for target practice. Or will you try to rescue her? You will fail, of course, and your quest to stop Cursor will be over. A whole galaxy suffers, then. I'll show you mercy. Though you never stop Cursor anyhow, I, at least, can promise to be much more merciful in victory. So? So, what will you choose? Uh-oh, so we have to defeat Daphne here if we want to save Mama. But there's a lot in our Take way her. to get there. Daphne's a crack shot from a distance. We brum our sure and we're fish in a barrel. What? Does this mean there's no cucumber water? <laughs> I guess not. So let's go ahead and change our team up a little bit just so that we can handle what we're about to tackle. So that's good to know. And then you way over here, Daphne prepares to attack from an elevated position where she is fully protected, even behind partial cover. Able to fire two projectiles at two separate targets, uses ooze effect on opponents when they get too close. So while she's not weak to anything else, she's not resistant to it either, which means we can use certain effects against her. So maybe using splash here would be pretty good. With this, we are actually good to go. Can we decide this after a nap? Nope, we gotta go right now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll get started with Rapper Rosalina. Maybe just through here. Well, this is pretty intense so far. Um, I want to keep as much of the group together as I can possibly manage. So just doing little things like this. We don't want to be caught out in the open though with how she's elevated. So I'm looking for things like this um, to be careful of. But what we could do is I'll also have, of course, Princess Peach's shield to work with. So we could try something like this, hiding her back over this way. So we're already pretty close. All right, that's not too bad. And then I can just poke and do that. If we can damage her shielding, that's a pretty big deal too. So getting that figured out. Um, I could just try to move Rabbit Mario out this way for a couple of reasons. I think first off, I just wanna fight you. So there's a decent dash and then give you a couple of punches. Not quite enough to defeat you, maybe? No, we got a critical. Okay, that is enough. Excellent. Unfortunately, that means I can't really reach. Ah, not quite. Okay, we're just gonna leave this group over here then. Um, oh yeah, I'll put Robin Mario over here. And then maybe even activate the uh, counter blow, just in case. Okay, now we're good to go. So, I'm going to pass the turn. They're gonna try to blast Peach, obviously that's not gonna do much. And are they going to move? They're not. They are going to, however, try to break some stuff open. So this is where we could get really interesting here. I think at the least. I think that, let's get Rabbit Mario over. I would like to get Rabbit Mario as far as we can over there, but I just don't know if we can get him up on this turn, so maybe we should just try? I don't really quite know. Because I think with the next turn we could make them jump up. Okay, so, because yeah, Peach could go over, ooh, this could be interesting actually. If she could reach the pipe. Darn, okay, that does mess up some plants, but I still have a couple here. Um. So how far over can we move Peach? Right about there. I'm just going to do a simple team jump like this. And I think with this turn, I would like to do the NUI. If it reaches both of them, that'd be fantastic. But I don't think it will. But it reaches her. That's still pretty good. That means that she cannot attack this turn or move. I'll take that. So where's Peach gonna be? We're going to uh, do something like this. Maybe just run out like here. It's the both of them. Will that cancel the NUI though? Maybe I should've thought about that. Uh oh. I don't know if it will, so I'm a little nervous. It does do some decent damage to her. She's actually really low up there, isn't she? I don't know. Um. Okay, not the Dukes, but I wanna switch over to you. Oh, yeah, her health is super low already. Is that gonna be enough to defeat her? No way. Um, maybe back over to Peach. Just get some shields ready for everybody. There we go. End the turn like that for now. Even if you try to attack us, it's not gonna be anything. This only ha this can only be phase one. I think it's going to be like midnight when we fought them. Like first unlocked Rosalina. 
Oh boy. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Where it's gonna be multiple phases or something like that. Because I can't imagine that this is all the, you know, all the damage she's bringing over to us. So we're just gonna walk right over here and first start it with a dash like this. And let's see. Oh, yeah. She doesn't look too beat up. Whoa! She's making an eclipse. Oh, she's so powerful. So what do we do about all this? It is so much darker. Oh, well now it's better. Uh, but she changed the map way up. Okay, so that is really going to alter how things work here. And we can change our team up at all. So we'll just have to hope what we have works. We don't have Frostbite for them, but this is a lot like the Midnight Battle. So. I think to start things off, I mean, we have a lot of characters that are close to this pipe. I could just get them to dash, and that's going to make her stuck. So maybe that's just fine there. Uh, Sure, let's get Peach out this way. Ooh, we could actually close that gap pretty quick, can't we? At the least we could, Uh, I could dash into you. I don't think it's worth it. Let's dash over this way. If I could get rid of one of these long range guys, I bet that would be a better idea. Oh, I made it. All right, ready, ready, dash you like that. Before we do too much more, let's get the rest of the squad over as much as we can manage. Um, well, I guess we can keep Rabbit Rosalina here for now. Get Rabbit Mario over this way. Sort of the same deal here. If I can make it, if I can make it, actually just get to the pipe. There we go. That'll still work. And then we will dash into you. I guess give you a couple of punches. Yeah, that would be great. Sure, we'll just finish you off with this. Because Rabbit Wario can still move around and he can hide back this way. Ooh, okay, okay. And I think that's all we can really do here unless I wanna fight you a little bit. Yeah, some good blasting. Pretty cool. I think that's all we can really muster for the time being. Next turn is going to be a lot more impactful. I haven't spent that uh, Rabbit Kong spark yet, but we'll get there. Okay, they're gonna call in that villain site. This might be where I can just use some shields, but I don't actually, I don't even need to worry about it too much. I think we'll be fine. Oh, unfortunately that does hit Peach, but not by much. Okay, so this is where we just jump over like this. I would like to get rid of that one, so I think we just, Dash you, go through like this, and we still have the team jump if we want it, but I'll just have to move some teammates over a little. So yeah, something, Oh, actually, yeah, that's not too bad, because we can team jump like this, and this should already be close enough, I think, right about here, to activate the proper NUI. I wanna make sure I get as many people in it as I can manage, but even then, it's not too much. Uh, so, just go for it. Activate this thing again. Time. Nap time. I love that. Uh, and then we can get Peach down here. And how close can we get these two? Pretty close, pretty close. I'm really curious to see if we can't get her up there. The problem is I don't know if we can with this wall in the way. No way, get out of here with that. All right, we'll do this. This did a lot of damage to her last time, but that will break her free from the thing. So maybe it's not worth doing just yet. Maybe we should save it for next turn. Which, if we do that, we'll be actually in quite at an advantage. Still also couldn't make it, that's fine. End the turn like this and see what ends up happening. My controller gets a little low on battery, but we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Okay, they're marching over. Um, is that it for this turn? Wow, okay, that was actually quick. Because they have 4,000 health up here. This is where we want to do some major stuff. First, let's boost everybody's attack with a turbo charge. Because we could get into so much trouble here, I think. Um, the first thing's first. Actually, we want Robin Mario to go up first, I think. Oh, we could do so much here. We could do so much. I could first off do a splash dash and just knock her off of there if I wanted to. Ooh, this does so much damage. Wow, okay, jump down, walk over, and then just defeat her, okay. This is a lot easier than I was anticipating. We're pretty strong right now. Okay, she didn't like that, but we're on to the next phase. Another eclipse. Uh-oh. So it seems like so far Daphne is like the master of deception. Where are we now? 
Oh man, she's back on that building over there. We have a couple pipes and different jump pads we can use to get around quite a lot though. So I'm really thinking there's some moves to be made here. There's some bob bombs we need to be careful of too though. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> Rabbit Rosalina is not too happy about it. That's, yeah, not too much what I wanted. I wanted to, I guess just throw this at you. There you go. Uh, I can't do that again, at least not with a uh, Rapid Rosalina, but I'm just trying to find ways to move forward. I'll pick this one up. I think I can hit him again with it. Ah, uh, not quite, so I'll just get rid of you. But I think I could make a good combo here. I broke something that gave us a bunch of star bits. Don't know what that was. Oh, this brings me over here. Okay, where, how far can you go? Not far enough to hit us if we were like here, I don't think, but the problem is, huh. You're weak to ooze resi resisting the shock. We don't have the ooze one right now, so I might just want to do something like this, get over there as much as we can, and just try to transition over a little bit. We can manage it. So first off, dash into you. Uh. Oh, I can't just, we just can't do very much with Rabbit Rosalina at the moment, it doesn't seem. I've already dashed into you here, so maybe we could, that wouldn't be too bad, but it's also not a ton. Then remember they're resistant to that, so maybe this instead, because we're not in a position I don't think. Oh, we could maybe get hit by her. Hard to tell, she's way up there, so let's hope that the camera angle just protects us, but I'll do that. I'll switch over to these, th this one, Rabbit Mario. There's gotta be a good angle here we can hit them both with. Here we go, and that will get rid of both of them. Awesome. So that's a lot less to worry about. I do wanna see, where will this pipe lead? Right up there, so, I wonder if it would just be better to go up this way. Looks like it. This one's a lot more complicated to get through than last time. I think for this, what is the cooldown on this currently? Four turns, so we do need to be really careful. I don't think this one will actually move towards us when we damage it. Yeah, they'll stay where they are. So we'll leave it like that. I know we still haven't used that one spark. I really want to, but I want to find the right situation for it. Okay, that's all they can do for now. Um, oh, they will go for Peach, and Peach does take some damager. So I think their next turn here is going to be dedicated to mostly making sure that Peach Tea is healthy. Ooh, not quite getting over to where I need it to be. So, let's see how far Rabbit Mario can get with the same jump. About the same, so. Who do I want to team jump and where? I think for right now, we'll do this to shield Rabbit Mario a little bit. I can get Peach over here, and we could shield them. Yeah, like this. Just gonna shield them. I know it's not a ton. It's not gonna get a lot done. But if I could do that and just get some mushrooms here to heal her up, because she's such an important character for this situation. Um, but how is Rabbit Rosalina gonna get over there? There is another pipe waiting for us over that way, and that would ma match us up pretty well if I can get all the way over. That's the question. Would I be able to reach that next turn? Attack technique movement. It doesn't really tell me, so we just gotta hope. Yeah, I was gonna see how much I'd be able to move, but I can at least NUI from here. Make it so that they can't do much. It's a little bit scary, because I guess I am in direct attack range, so maybe hide her here, just for the chance that maybe that'll turn out better. And now it's all about Rabbit Mario, who's, you know, hanging out back this way. Maybe do the counter blow that way, if it does still somehow hit. Um, Rabbit Mario will be okay. They are shielding her now, so that's a bit of a problem. And that's scary, but we have the shield, so we're fine. Okay, so more of them are moving over, but if we could just group back up again, I think we could get up there fairly quickly. Our shield is really helping us out. None of, oh, that one's gonna hit her, but none of them are attacking Rabbit Mario just yet. Oh, that one will, but he won't return it. I guess there's too much of a range. No, we still can't reach this pipe. You are kidding me right now. That's actually ridiculous. There's no other way for me to get over there too. So unfortunately, I don't know exactly. I might just have to take another turn here. 
to make sure that everybody is lined up pretty well. I need them to stick together. Because of course, I could get Peach out here. But we are running into a lot of risks by doing this. Um, if this were to explode in this situation, what, can I just find out it would not be in the attack range. So that's good at the least. I could try to attack something else, but there's nothing else in range. I think we'll keep her there. Oh, you know what? I think it's time to use an item. Let's do that. Uh, we'll do move boost. Please work. It worked. Just enough for us to reach this pipe. But can Rabbit Mario now reach you? It looks like he can't. So what we want is this. It's not the hugest group of movement, but if I tackle into you, that keeps you stuck there for a good bet. Then we get back over here, just like this, and see what we can reach. Right now we can at the least do this and getting more people teamed up with Peach, you know, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, I think everybody should be caught up with one another by next turn, and that's fantastic. So. Keep her here, I guess, maybe back here. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, let's go for this. Back over to this action. Can't hit us just yet, which is good. And they're putting more shields onto Daphne here. I don't care about that too much. Oh no, I did not notice you were so close though. So double hits going on there. Those only one lands. And who's she going for? Oh, they break that shielding, but it's okay. So we go through again. Just like this. And now we have a lot of options on how to get over there. I think we're starting with this. Oh yeah, actually we could just watch right up there more or less. Because what I could do is maybe from here, there we go. It caused some major problems. <laughs> and you know what the first thing I'm gonna do is, right? <laughs> I'm calling him in. We gotta see what this is like. The Kong cameo. Oh man, here he comes! It's Robin Kong! He's back! It didn't do anything. I think because she had a shield on, but that was still so cool! All right then, so let's hit you with everything we got with this Kaboomer. Wait, actually, before we do, actually, yeah, um, the only problem with that, I can't get Robin Mario up if we do it this way. I don't see any other alternative either. If I were to jump down, then jump up there, maybe? But where would that lead? That would lead way over there. It's doable. Okay, you're on. Let's try it. Um, team jump over here. We're gonna get Rabbit Mario to land right by that jumping platform. This is the huge risk. Can we make it to that pipe? I don't know if we will. Ah, oh, no, we won't. Okay, so that does put a big damper in things. But what I can do is at least hide in the corner and, oh, not, not this, okay, well, hmm. All right, yeah, I'll just splash attack away them. But that does put me in a huge problem regardless. You didn't really think this through, did I? Uh, Okay, there's still a little bit more I can do here, because I, I didn't really think about it right. That's still gonna give you quite the pain, because we haven't moved Peach yet, right? We have not. Um, So I can get down here a little bit more. He's not even farther from us. Yeah, I forgot how I could jump down like that. Maybe that would have been better in general, because then we could have used the team jump to really <laughs> gone this farther, but that'll get a shield to uh, Rabid Mario. We can get over this way. Get over like this, and once we're up here, we can do so, so much. We're one turn away as well from uh, getting even more stuff done, but I can turbocharge the group just like this. Maybe it would've been better to save for next turn then, but I could either hit you with this, that would be 1,200 to almost 1,500 damage, but this would do a lot of shock and would also shock them over there. Interesting for sure, but let's start with this. You know what, I think we might just do a normal boss. So there we go, boom, boom, boom. Go over like this. Oh, you're in so much trouble. It's not enough to take you out yet, but it's so, so close that I think next turn will be fine no matter what. Okay, pass the turn. This bob bomb's moving over. It's a bob bomb on a mission. And who are you going to blast? You're gonna go for Robin Mario out of all people. And they do heal Daphne, but just a little bit. Not really too much to be concerned. I think we might have her here. Oh gosh. Okay, both of those shots miss. Whoa! Whoa! 
<laughs> that was so much ooze. And they are gonna blast us both, but we're fine. That's actually fine, yeah, okay. So I get to use this again. The turbo charge coming in another time because of our uh, spark boosts. So I could just blast you again. And I think just finish you off with Rabbit Rosalina here. That was enough, Never mind. we did it. She's not doing so well. Good job, Rabbit Rosalina. So that'll be already. We just got one not so long ago. We have another. Huh. Purified darkness energy crystal obtained. Very cool. So we almost got them back to back. Just about 900 experience for the groups. We're almost at level 29 already. What an amazing situation that was. So we even get the Daphne uh, memory. Very nice. Oh no. What is this? Curse is here. Uh oh. This is bad. I don't know if we're ready for her yet. What is, it's a magic wand? Uh. Could it be? It's Rosalina! She's here! What is that? Where are we going? Oh, it's gonna consume her again. Not good. We gotta go. She gave us an exit, we need to take it. We're out of here right now. Oh no, we gotta go for now. <laughs> She's not happy about it. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Watch out! Woo, close one. So Cursa has been taking over Rosalina this whole time. That's why the eye is so familiar. This guy is looking a bit devious. Whoa. Ah! Oh no, here we go! So the Magic Koopa boss fight. Very cool to see this guy in this game. Hopefully it goes well. Ooh, okay, so there's the Magic Koopa right there and a bunch of Goombas along with it. We might wanna change our team up a little bit here, but let's first take a look at what we're up against. I do see a couple of other enemies, things like the Oozers, which of course are weak to guest. Uh, beyond that, I'm just in go Goombas with the Oozers and of course, Giant Magic Koopa. Summons packs of Goombas to attack enemies instead of directly engaging. Its technique allows it to increase the attack damage dealt by its allies. Very crazy, so it can't be dashed, it's resistance, resistant to everything else. So let's change our team up just a little bit, and now we're going in. So, Hello. take on that Magic Koopa. First things first, I mean, I can dash away some enemies really easily. I can spawn in a wild call just to smack you for, I'm guessing, about a thousand damage. That's a really great start, if it actually attacks, which it didn't, um, for some reason. And there are enemies over here too. Which once again, they're weak to Gus, so we could just do something like this, or if I wanted to be even more to the point, I could do this. Would this hurt Peach at all? It wouldn't, so let's go for it. Boom, hit ya, explosion, it's gonna bounce all over the place. Now, Mario, do you mind just finishing them off? That would not be enough to finish them off. <laughs> okay, good to know. I guess we will, well, if I could, I know it seems silly, but if I can get rid of some enemies first, I think that's a good idea. I don't know something. Um, and then maybe I'll activate Hero Sight here. Back over to Bowser. He should be able to finish off, just because this one specifically was so close. Then we'll get an Oozer. Seems cool. And Bowser, if you don't mind. Oh, there we go, that's great. Oh, and you get to attack one right away. It's crazy that they get to attack right away like that. We're just going to blast him. That doesn't do anything? Oh, because it's not hitting. Maybe from here, if Bowser's attack range is a little odd, yeah, none of that will hit from here, but maybe from this angle? There we go. He has 35,000 health, so he is a tanky one, for sure. We're gonna leave it like that. Rabbit Peach, or Peach can't do too much here. We could shield to start things off. You know what, sure. I have a feeling that maybe we might need that still. So end the turn, and see who moves where. Mario's gonna blast. Magic Koopa twice, that's actually really good. And they do spawn in that Koopas just in the same way that Bowser spawns in everything else. Oh no. 
yeah, the, the mech exudes, it works the same way, which is very neat. So they're just gonna keep spawning in more. So I think Bowser was actually a good play because we can have that really big area of effect. There goes our buddy, unfortunately. What I think we'll do here, first things first, we will switch, oh, okay, that's good. So our oozer friend is making some work happen. Mario, let's have you turbocharge. Boost the damage everybody in our vicinity, including our oozer. Go to Bowser. Make sure we're hitting as many people as possible with this. Would this hurt him? It would. Okay. So that's good. We'll get started with something like this. A good old Rabbit Kong. Do a big slam. Get rid of all the Goombas. Oh, it does knock Bowser around. I did not think of that. Uh, whoops. And then I could just blast you, but if I'm going to blast you, I might as well try to protect myself a little bit. I love the way he puts his hands up. There we go, 1300 damage over to you. Now, might as well strike you two. Maybe go up here and cause some problems? Like we could, you know? That's not too bad. If I can find the right angle for it. That seems like a good idea. Let's try this. Ooh, and you're gonna fall off. At least slightly. So over to Mario then. I could hit you twice, or I could just stay in a better position. Yeah, and focus on this a little bit more. So, boom, and get you again. So he's already under 30,000, right? So that's really good. Peach can't do too much here, so I guess just have her chill out, because this won't do anything. It won't hit, hurt any of the targets available. Magic Koopa moves slightly. Whoa, the game slowed down for a second. I got scared. I know that was a thing in the original game, right? Is that sometimes the game would just freeze and crash. Luckily, it didn't happen here so far. I don't want to you know, say anything that might make it happen. Oh, no. Ooh, so Bowser is taking some major damage here. So I think it might be good to protect them. And then use a mushroom. Oh, gosh. That, boot, that ooze damage does even more. Ooh. Okay, come on. Come on. I wish you'd just attack the Magic Koopa with that, but... First things first, let's... I wanna get a shield on Bowser because he just seems to be a popular target at the moment. Then if I could just get a good angle on things, I'm pretty sure I could get rid of just about all these Goombas with a normal attack. Like this. It's not a ton of damage to... Uh... It doesn't get you, unfortunately. It's not a ton of damage to the Magic Koopa, but it's something, you know? So there's that done. Uh, switch over to Bowser, who hasn't moved yet. First thing we're gonna do is use a, I guess just, I think a super mushroom chest is fine. Plus the fact that we have a shield. Then we can just walk up to you and use the rabbit mecha Koopas. We have a bunch of them, so they're all just gonna go off and just explode like crazy. Luckily that doesn't hurt Bowser. So that was with five of them doing 100 damage each. That's just a free 500 damage. So that's all I can do for Bowser right now but we can switch over to Mario, find a decent position and just attack you again. I think just beating him up seems to be working pretty well. The other enemies aren't doing much for, for him right now, so I think it's a good move. Now Peach still has one more. I think we're just gonna use a normal mushroom to heal her up. That might be my last normal mushroom. I definitely have to restock on items before we uh, move on to the next area or anything. But what do you know? Some more Koop or Goombas are moving their way out. They're all striking our spawned enemies though, so our teammates, which is really nice for us. That, that ooze does hurt though. So I think we're gonna start, maybe we could just tackle them. I could try to hit them again like this. Come on, yep, like this. And it just gets rid of all of them so nicely. So boom. We could do the shielding here, or I could just force my way back up with a mushroom. I think for right now, we'll use the mushroom. Back over to Mario. The last you twice, and then use the hero sight, which will hopefully hit him and not a Goomba, but we'll see. And then Bowser needs one more turn before he's ready to start spawning some stuff in, so. I guess we could walk up here and cause problems for someone like you, but I don't know if it would be too much worth it when I could just hit you from here. So, do this. Gotcha. That seems like a good idea. But there's still so much more damage to get through there. It seems like if I get rid of the two oozers, no more are gonna spawn in. At least we haven't seen any just yet. But unfortunately, this is just going to be activated by the Goombas. Magic, if it didn't move at all. 
Not entirely what I wanted. Where are they moving to? Over there, trying to get to Mario, I think. Well, they're just repositioning. Okay, more are spawning. So that's why I just don't think it's worth the effort too much. Can I? I can beat that one up. That's definitely worth considering in a moment. I could do this. Just blast you and get rid of it all. But how's Bowser doing? Bowser can also do a thing or two here. So maybe I walk out with Bowser. I don't think that's unfortunately within range. So if I did this, ooh, and this would get rid of a bunch of them too. Okay, so slam like this. Get rid of all the Goombas, no problem. Then, maybe with Peach, I will do this. Team Barrier. It seemed inevitable that we're gonna take damage here. I could blast this thing, it wouldn't be enough to get rid of it anyway. So I think we fully focus on just doing whatever damage we can. We can damage boost everybody, and then next turn we can focus in on trying to defeat some more enemies or something. So we got the shield anyway, so might as well make the most of this. I think we'll focus on the Oozer. I guess I should've done a normal attack first. Whoops. Okay, well they're gonna move anyways. That's good. Because they can do something like that and then they can attack still. That's actually pretty good. Bowser, go ahead and blast you. Okay, we're getting closer and closer over time. So let's get Peach maybe, oh we could actually, yeah. Get Peach down here. This is where I think we do want to start repositioning. That wasn't enough to defeat you? That is so silly. But I can do this. Sure, fine. Do that. Get Mario to move over. Go like way over there. I think that's a good idea, because he's just gonna spawn in Goombas, you know? So getting the Goombas to spread out might be our best bet. Do something like that. Nobody else can do anything running this turn. This is definitely a tough fight so far. The game slows down every time he spawns in the Goombas and every time it scares me a little. See, so Bowser will still take damage if they go from, but I guess they won't. Huh, okay. Well, nope, Never mind. they're safe. The Goombas are still pretty scary though because they just do so much damage with that tackle that I think I want to start positioning myself farther away. Hard to say that. Either way, I think we're good just you know, spawn in some more teammates, some bad guys. Like a wild call walking up and hitting Magic Cooper right now sounds like an amazing idea. There's just so many more opponents spawning in. And they're not a typing I prepared for because how could I have, you know? Okay, there's the rest of uh, Bowser's stuff. We still have so much more to work through here. This is getting properly scary. Please go for something else. Please go for the boss fight. That's what you're here for. I'll get Bowser down here. I could just hide him like this and hope this does some good damage. Do we have the Magic Koopas? We do, or the Mecha Koopas. Spawn those in. Sort of more than, no, the, I forgot about the Koombas. My goodness, that ruins everything. That's not what I wanted whatsoever. So frustrating. Bowser's on fire, he has no cover now. I feel so silly. I only did 120 damage to him by the end of it. Now he's at a really bad spot too, so I might as well give him some shielding. And see if I can't walk up here, give you a wild call to deal with. Come on, hopefully that does a good thousand damage or something. Come on, please, please, please. 2,273, that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of damage I've been looking for. So we get this 881, we switch over to Mario. Do I wanna maybe flip over to this side? I think that's a better idea. Then we hit you twice with this. That'll be just over a thousand damage. And now we end the turn. So it is getting somewhere. It is just really, really tough, really, really slow. More boom is coming out. But once again, they'll be fully focused on our wild call friend here that they won't really think about us too much. And Mario, they're trying to hit him, but they don't get too successful. But still, these spawnable sparks are so good so far. They've been a game changer. We're back at it. Our heroes are moving in. He's gonna attack a Goomba. All right, that's really game changing. Uh, so, how do I wanna do this? I could just keep Bowser oh. back here. I mean, I have one more turn until I can vault over and get rid of these two. That's something. Or can I not? That is so silly. Uh, just move Mario maybe back to here. Could I? I can't hit the Magic Koopa from here though, so maybe not. Maybe I do do back here. 
Yep, here we go. Blast you. Blast you. I think we could get Bowser in a better spot. Where we could... Remember, I have this great big slam. Right there. I got him. Great. So now I'm up here. I could do the Magic Koopa. Not the Magic <laughs> Too many words. Uh, the uh, Rabid Kong. And he's gonna take some damage here. It's a bit inevitable, but at least I can bring some back. I feel like if I was gonna play this, maybe it would have been better just to play as a Rabid Mario instead. But of course, I've been trying to play a good variety of characters to make everybody happy. It can be hard to do that. It seems like when I play one character, somebody wants to play another character and people argue about it, but it's okay. It is what it is. This still does damage, this is not very much. Okay, and I get the action point back. So should I focus on these two? I don't know, we're gonna try it. There we go, just get rid of one of them, it's something. Uh, back to Mario. Mario has his hero sight, so let's see if that will reach the Magic Koopa from where he's standing. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. And then Peach can't do too much more. Unless we wanted to do a pal block, which at this point is looking really uh, good. And also we want to do immunity for three turns. Keeps you immune to super effects for three turns, but can't get rid of existing super effects. Let's just do pa the pal block. Ooh. Right here, it gets rid of you, and it's one less than to do it. Very nice. Oh, that's great. Another thousand damage. More Goombas coming in, which actually is maybe a big problem for Bowser. Mario's able to get rid of one of them, but geez, it's so much damage. It's crazy how much damage that is. And they're, they're splashing our Uzer friend, which honestly I'd prefer that over our characters, of course. Look at how good this is, it's crazy. I wonder if there's a possibility of, we, of us getting like two Uzers out at the same time. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, or it won't allow us to do that. All right, actually that's how I won't complain too much about you doing that. Just get rid of three of them. We are going to get Mario closer, as close as we can manage, which if Bowser walks over here, is pretty far over. This is where we can do this. I think we want to shield this turn too. Everybody's boosted. Bowser can now team jump. I just want to spread everybody out now, I think is a good idea. So yeah, that'll hurt him a little bit. Then I blast him with the Bowzooka. And then I hit him with this with nobody else around to mess it up this time. It should be way better. Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. Much, much better. Come on, just a little bit more. And a little bit more. That's what I'm talking about. So back over here. I definitely want to shield with Peach. Get that team barrier up. Blast you as much as we can. Mario still has a dash, so we can do that. And then I can just hit you twice. Boom, actually, I should move him farther back. Just that way, the, you know, the Goombas aren't really causing an issue for us, or just like anything else, you know? They are so low that we are so close to defeating them, I think next turn is gonna be the ticket. Pass it over for now, though, and find out. He is trying to run away. But I don't know if we care too much with all of our shielding coming into play. Bowser still might take a little bit of damage, but they couldn't reach him to attack. The rest of them are here. Uh-oh. Mario has plenty of shield, so that's not concerning. And... Okay, that's it. I think we can win this turn. Oh, and even the Ooze are helping out this time. That's what we love to see. I think I might really just start with blasting you with everything I got. That was great. Over to Bowser. We can call in, I cannot summon. So yeah, it doesn't work that way, I forgot. Uh, but I can, once again, hit you with, I gotta get as close as possible. There we go, gotcha. Then I can activate one of these. Cause it still does damage. How to get rid of some of the Goombas. There we go. Come on. Now Bowser, what can you do about this? Is it enough? I don't think it is. I can slide tackle you though, get rid of that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're so close to being defeated here. It's crazy how close they are. There's nothing more anybody can do? I guess not. Well, I do have more pal box. I could try this. I don't know if it reaches. Uh-oh, uh, that's not good. 
That's unfortunate. I guess I'll just throw this to get rid of the Goomba, but Bowser, could you throw one? I don't know if we want to risk it. Because that's the item used. Yeah, I can't cancel it from there. I can, I think I saved the item, but I don't know if that saves the item actually. Jeez, come on, you were so close to getting taken out here. It's a little ridiculous. And I don't think we're gonna lose this turn, but we are losing some major health for Peach, and that's not good. Some of them are moving over, but luckily they're still focusing on that Uzer, which we can finally spawn in another one. I'm a little worried. Mario, hold on tight. We are so close, we can't lose now. Oh, I just pick it up and use it this turn. That is so neat, I didn't realize. That's an interesting strategy. Anyways, we hit you with that. You have 82 health, you are finished. Get out of here, amazing. The boss is finally defeated. That took a lot of effort. Very cool though. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. See ya. Ready to fight, oh no. We're in trouble. So there's a lot going on here. We also have some normal Magnafowls, but we have to defeat the giant Magnafowl and plenty of other enemies around. So let's take a look around. They're weak to Gust. I think it's gonna be the same deal with you. Oh, you're weak to Shock. So Gust and Shock are our two focuses. But let's take a look at the giant Magnafowl. Target's closest rival to unleash area attacks that deal an enormous amount of damage. If there aren't enough opponents within range, it will use its technique to draw them in close. And that's where we have to be really careful is that technique, it cannot be dashed, it's resistant to all abilities. I think this is a decently large enough area that we could probably get Luigi out here and start sniping with how big he is. I don't think it'd be a hard thing to hit him. Let's go for it. Let's go. And let's see, can Luigi hit them from here? Not quite because of the distance needed. I could dash into you. I feel like dealing with some enemies like this could also be important. What are they weak to? They should be weak to the gust. And they are. So, that one enemy is already making things a little bit complicated. I can't quite reach you from here, unfortunately. So, yeah, I think we'll focus on you instead. Switch over to, I could do the user. Let's summon an user. Maybe the sooner we get one of these guys out and running around, the better. Things are feeling pretty scary here. So we disarmed you in some way and blasted you with some that. Obviously it doesn't do a ton of damage considering the fact that it's a... Uh... Oh, and we can just NUI you. That buys us some time there. So maybe that's a better move. Then we can get you over here. You're weak to shock. So that's where I can maybe get Peach to come over. Hit you with one of these. It doesn't do a ton of damage. It, it really stinks how little damage it ends up doing. And I hope that that barrel doesn't hit Peach. It might. Oh, it does. But we're resistant to it. So, for better or for worse, we just did that. Actually, I think this is for worse. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this, uh, I could knock them away, though. Yeah, something like this. That might be better. Okay. So, we're crazy with some of that. I know we're not actually attacking the boss too much just yet, but we're sending them farther out of the, the zone. So, I'm hoping that. They might still be able to do some damage to Peach here. I really don't know. But at least for now, we can maybe get Luigi. I need to be really careful with how I do this because if not, he's gonna get called over just as much as the rest of them are and that would not be good at all. So I think about here, I could blast you or I could do this steely stare. All right, go for that. Rather, Rosalina still hasn't done anything. So this is where we just light you up with the Kabooma, right? I think so. Or, yeah, let's let's do the gust attack. And then light you up with the Kabooma. That seems good to me. So, tons of damage going in. Boom, boom, boom. Luigi's gonna finish you off, I think. That's one more enemy defeated. That's good. Now that's all we can do this turn. Pass it over. You're gonna move, maybe. Actually, no, you just go for an attack. And you spawn in a little guy, which maybe isn't good for our silly stare, but now the boss moves, right? There we go, yes indeed. And this is where we probably wanna move Luigi back. Ooh, you are still stuck though. Oh, that knocks you out of it, which is a little unfortunate. So this is where we actually want Luigi to go as far back as possible, even if it is something like this. However far back we can go while still hitting him, which seems to be about back in this corner. Can we still hit him from here? We can, so there we go. And they have so much health, it is gonna be worth doing this as much as we can. Um, but I wanna run up with Rabbit Rosalina. 
throw this down the wild cost so that he can march over and just do as much damage as possible. Come on, not too much this time, but next turn, I, I have a feeling that something good could happen. Then we could NUIU. I think I want to save that for the end of the turn though, if possible. Because with NUI, they can't move or do damage. And that does sound like a really good deal right about now. And maybe I'm going a little bit crazy with this one. I don't know, I guess we'll see. But I could do something like this. It's really not that bad. I don't think that hurts Peach. So that's a good position to be in. And even if they're resistant to that, it still does some major damage, you know? It's something. Then we can knock you off the side, and then we NUI the enemy. Come on, can that be enough to defeat you? I sure hope it is. It's not, are you kidding? All right, Um, I guess we just get the shield on her. And if we're getting the shield on her, we should move Rabid. Ah, oh, we can't. Oh no, okay, that really stinks. Maybe that'll reach? Well, let's try it, let's try it. It doesn't. This is a lot to ask for using the shield like this, but it's the only two enemies out here. So you know what, fine. We'll do that, get the shield out. And then that means we can just hit you with the Kaboomer as much as possible and hope that you don't go over here. I'd imagine that you would attack Peach and not Rabbit or Rosalina, but maybe I'm wrong with this one. I guess we're gonna see soon. See, that's not gonna do any damage to us, which is fantastic. You're gonna move over, but doesn't accomplish too much. And now you're going for the Wild Claw. Oh no, that stinks because the Wild Claw never even got the chance to attack. Oh, and more portals. The portals are such a big pain. Oh, you can attack the portal though. Great, so this is one of those portals that's actually damageable. Then we go over to you and dash you. I think what I wanna do here is just blast you with everything I got, first and foremost. There we go, it's definitely on. So Luigi, I need you somewhere safer. I think maybe over here would be better. But if that's the case, we can maybe slide into this. Can we tackle these? We can't. But I could blast it for most of the damage. The more I back up from it, the more of a chance we have for that to work. So. Something like that's good. It seems silly, you know, because uh, I could be attacking the boss, but if this thing comes out and does a bunch of damage to you, it's just gonna be a problem. So let's get that gone. Uh, then okay, switch to Steely Stare, maybe? The problem with that is that then I can't use the NUI. So I think we just hit you with this. Um, -da 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 that. Okay. Uh, then we hit you with the NUI, which we haven't seen this in a little bit, so I'll let it run. No. Nap time. Nap time indeed. What can Peach do here? We could, if we just need to use something, use a pal block. And it's, wait. Ah, that's gonna cancel it. And you know what, I can drop it for next turn. I forgot I could do that, that's so good. That's such an interesting thing you can do. I, I definitely think I need to start doing that more often. But, um. I do see them, I don't know if it's worth doing a Steely Stare for that, so I might do the same thing here, use another Power Block, and then leave it for next turn. Pass the turn, let's see what they end up doing. You're gonna move, it's gonna blast Luigi, it's a critical, which really, really sinks, and no, please don't blast Luigi as well. Please not another critical. Oh, goodness, 399 health is all Luigi has right now, so this is actually a huge danger. Um, but you're gonna move around, and hopefully, please, yes, get rid of them, it's not enough for a defeat, though. So, first things first, you can pick this up and just, Toss it at you now, but if we have the NUI, we need to make sure that we are hitting you with the highest damage thing first. And I think that would be this. That would be a decent chunk of damage, switching back over to Peach. Because, you know, getting hit cancels the NUI. I think then we're better off with this one. So we activate this. And that cancels the NUI for now. Then we have to heal Luigi all the way up. So I think using a Super Mushroom Chest DX or, yeah, let's do the Super Mushroom Chest now just to be sure of it. And what else can we do here? Pick up these Pal Blocks and we'll maybe move Peach first. She can toss one to you. Gotcha. It's not a lot, well actually it's 1400 damage, it's plenty. All right, um, so do that. Switch over like this. So we do have a lot to deal with over this way, if I can manage somehow to get over there, at least get started with it, you know? I can hit two of them, but it's just not quite enough. Really stinks. Okay, this might end up being risky, but we're just going to try to hit as many of them as I can like this, lowering their health a bit more. Next turn, we'll be able to do a little bit more against them. 
we do have one more thing we can use here. I could try tossing another power block. Uh, or I can make myself immune. Or I could reset cooldowns. Most of these cooldowns are gonna be reset next turn anyway. So let's, see, let's just do the immunity charm and see how that goes for us. Back over here then, Luigi can't do anything more. But Rabid Peach could, with her one shield hit here, just go crazy on you. Like this. I don't have to buy a lot more power blocks if I have the money for it, but for right now, if it, this is a working strategy, I really want to make the most of it. So just toss this at you for another 1400 damage. You're down to 14,000 health already. We have that one shield point, so even if this guy attacks us, I think we'll be okay. Unless they break it, which they didn't. That's good. I was really scared there for a second. I don't think they're gonna take the chance. So you're gonna walk over and try to slam her, but it's not gonna work because we have that shield. So this is a really good scenario, just like that. More stuff spawning through this portal is a bit scary, but this is where we can use the gust ability if we need it. More stuff going through there is not what I want. Oh my. Um, oh, that's good. That's really good. Ooh, we are slowly defeating that one too. So I still have two more turns before our NUI, which is a problem. I could just start blasting this thing. Let's go for it. Blast that thing away. I still can't spawn in my friend which really is a bummer, but I could spawn in another one here. Well, I can't because it's still over there. So finish this one off again. It seems silly, right? But I think it's, it's a good idea. Use the Steely Stare. Now back over to Peach. There's a couple things we can get done. I'm first just gonna walk up like this and deal some pretty major numbers to a lot of them. And this one can't even attack. Oh no, that was maybe silly. Should have done that the other way around, but that'll knock him off. So it's something. Um, if I wanted to, I can now electrocute them. Or I could just blast them face value. I'm not sure, I might just do this from here because they can't attack right now anyways. This next turn, they can't really contribute much to it. Really, I forgot that it works that way. Okay, so that means there's only one shot for this actually going for the boss. That was definitely maybe not the best move. But hey, I still have something here. What should I do? I should probably use the reset cooldowns for her. Next turn, we'll get some major things going on. So boom, got you there for 2,600. Okay, now you're in major trouble. Cause we also got our little oozer friend, still getting work done, 486 damage. Walk up to you and sp spawn in a wild claw. That should be a guaranteed like a thousand damage on you. Which is what we all like to see. 2,273 damage, so so much more than I thought. Um, I think for right now, what can I accomplish? There's a couple of things here, I think. Um, the first thing's first. If I were to get Luigi over here, would we be able to line up a shot still? I think so. And it would do a fair chunk of damage too. So you know what, I think we do that. Just hit you with everything we got right there. That's 2,204 damage. Back over to you. I could just shield, would that shield our friend too? Oh, it would. That's actually very high potential then. I think we'll do it. And if that's the case, we won't NUI this turn. We'll save that for next turn. So I'll run you up like this so that we can hit you with everything we got in this thing. Huge chunk of damage there. It's another 13, almost 1400. So back over to you. Last you with everything. Come on, big numbers there. Now we end the turn, because what more can they do? We have all the shielding, and they're the only enemy on the field, so we're handling this boss fight fantastically so far. There we go. Whoa, that actually did do some damage to something. A little confused. Maybe it attacks like in waves. Oh, but there we go, our wild call finishes the job. Battle cleared, amazing. And as you can see, very little damage taken throughout all that after we used like a mushroom on Luigi and stuff, but that was awesome. So there is the secret boss defeated, and with it, I'm pretty sure just about the whole area done. So see you, giant wild, or not wild call, but magnafowl. Whoa, wait, what? It's like an evil Bowser, or even more evil Bowser. What is this? Uh-oh. This could be trouble. Defeat Darkness Bowser. Whoa! This is cool, but there's a lot of enemies standing in our way, and we do have Bowser teaming up with us, I guess? 
I don't know how to feel about this what one. What is happening right now? Cursa, having descended from the megabug encountered in your previous adventures, has inherited its memories from which it reconstructed this likeness of Bowser. That's right. The Megabug assumed control of Bowser, treating him like a mindless puppet. Yeah, that was in Kingdom Battle. But it was all for nothing. We beat him soundly, in front of Bowser Jr., no less. Remember Bowser? We won't be able to stop Bowser from leading this attack. Uh, we'll need three for backup. Ooh, so this is going to be a four-player fight. I like the look of that. So first off, let's heal our team, I guess. Yeah, for right now, we'll, we'll heal everybody up. That's gonna be the last of my coins, though, so maybe I should save it for when I really need it. And let's take a look at what we're going against. A bunch of Goombas, we have Magic Koopas here as well, but besides that, it is all about this Darkness Bowser. Aims to control parts of the battlefield using area attacks and by spawning Darkness Rabid Mecha Koopas. It is resistant to burn, but everything else it can be susceptible to, so good to keep in mind, none of these other enemies should have any kind of weakness. Um, they're resistant to, to, to everything technically, but most of them should have like one HP, like the Goombas. Actually, they have 325, so they're a bit stronger than normal. And hopefully it turns out well. I'm very nervous to take on Darkness Bowser. Ooh. All right, so we're of course starting with big old Bowser here. I think one thing that would be cool is if I just jump over like this, and then we slam on them with that brand new slam I got. It didn't work, great. <laughs> I messed it up. That's okay. We're just gonna do down, and I guess for now I could just blast him straight forward like that, or I could spawn in some Mecha Koopa friends. I think we'll spawn in some Mecha Koopa friends. Get started with something crazy like that. So will this other Bowser have a Bowzooka? I can only guess. So here we go. This will definitely do a good number to uh, Magic Koopa. It's gonna be resistant to the fire stuff, but overall it's still just 110-ish damage each. Ooh, 123 that time. So we're getting some good numbers in there. It's at least damaging down Magic Koopa a bit more. And that's all I got. It did not do much. Oh my goodness, that did next to nothing. I guess that wasn't worth it. Maybe it's not smart to focus on them this way. We'll spawn in a Scoper. Oh, I thought, I think I got th something mixed up here. I thought we had the Wild Claw. Uh, maybe not the best place to have it, but it's gonna be out and about and doing damage still. Scoper can hit from there and that's still what was that, well over 1200 damage? Now we're looking a lot better. Switching back over to some of our other friends now. What else can we do? I think for right now, I wanna get Edge out there as soon as possible, so if we could just maybe team jump one more time and then angle it so that we're over there like that. I think that's gonna be our best bet. And I never healed with Rabbit Peach, so let's, hold on. I forgot to do that before, let's do it now, I hope. Because if not, she's just not gonna get the heal she needs, so I'm gonna get her up there. That seems smarter. Because we're still not quite where we can reach Dark Miss Bowser. But there we go. That should be pretty good. And that way the cooldown is already starting to tick down from here. I think that we sh it should be back up by the time we need it again, but I guess we'll see. But for right now, we are just going to focus on side tackling you as much as possible. One more. One. There we go, and that defeats you. Very nice. Now we've already team jumped, so I can't really do too much with that. But if I did that, that also just... Won't it quite be enough to take them down? I want to reach them. But I guess I could do something like this. No, 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 not that, not this, but uh, this. I want to get rid of these guys. Is that smarter though than just walking up and doing the Toxiquake? Oh, that does get them. You know, let's do the Toxiquake then and get rid of a bunch of Goombas. Seems like a pretty effective idea to me. I didn't realize it was gonna explode that stuff too, but we do get our action point back from all that, which is pretty crazy. I don't know what I wanna do with it exactly. I mean, I could just go back up here for now. Um, could I attack Bowser from here? What are the odds of that? It doesn't quite reach, unfortunately. Actually, no, it does. Not really. Um, <laughs> it feels like it should, but it doesn't. Okay, we'll just keep her maybe just against the wall over this way. Like, I'm worried because there is somebody over there who might attack us. Okay, let's not overthink it. We gotta play safe from time to time. We'll just put it right here. Now, if any enemies move around though, we'll definitely hit them with Stormblade. And I'll at least try hitting Bowser. Oh, can I hit that, please? Nah, it just not. It doesn't even activate hitting the, the barricade there. So you have the Wild Claw. That's right, okay, so. Can't attack anybody with this. Unfortunately, where we are, that's just where we gotta stay. Where can we go with Rapid Mario? Then? I'm thinking, can we even make this? Yes, we can. 
How far can we move Rabbit Peach? That's the farthest, so we want to make the most of that. Land Rabbit Mario over here. Go through this pipe. Back down this way. And it's not a ton, but it is a good couple of punches over to you. That's sort of something I'm concerned about. Is there any way I could hit him without getting hit myself? With that, I guess by going down here, aha. And I can hit it and damage him a ton. Oh, this is perfect. Gotcha. And some criticals in there. Not enough to take you out, unfortunately. But I could have if I just applied. Well, actually, I don't know if that would have helped. We're just gonna do this really quickly. Now back to Bowser. Nobody else can really do anything here, except for Rabbit Peach maybe moving around. Um, Edge has already taken damage from exploding herself before. Uh, that's not really what I wanted, but... Hmm. One thing we could always do, though, this is why I wanted to save them up, is get these pal blocks. But I feel like I need to save them for later in the game, you know? Uh, let's just see how things go. Magic is gonna move up this way, which makes sense. I'm gonna attack us, but then we just blast them back. Like that, that's 1700 right, damage right over to you. Oh, and they're powering up Bowser. That's something I'm a little afraid of, is Bowser damaging us. Cause I'm sure that's gonna happen soon. Oh, they're beefing up the Goombas, I think, soon. Or maybe not. Here comes some more. They're marching over. And of course, Bowser could spawn in more if he wanted to. Oh, no. Ooh, no way. He's down to 157 health already, next to nothing. Uh-oh. That is really scary. Will those reach Rabbit Mario? I guess not. That is so, so scary. So we need to back Rabbit Mario all the way up. We cannot risk that. Okay, what's the first thing we can do here then? Um, Cause we got this scope out and about, and it's gonna go for Bowser, that's good. Okay, that is some value being extracted there. So I think in the meantime, Rabbit Mario is really struggling. I think we just use one of these mushrooms, even if it is the full, you know, if I could use one of these, then that might be fine. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't want to walk in the range of those, right? I think they'll go away on their own if I don't worry about it. I do something like this. That would destroy them. I just don't know if they can. I don't know if it's worth it. Especially since I could go over here, jump off of this thing. And this is real risky, but if we can make this pay off for us right here, I am outside of the explosion radius but we are still punching Bowser and this Magikoopa. That sounds huge, so. Gotcha. That was really nice. I'm not quite at the range to do too much more though, unfortunately. I'm so close to being able to tackle them there. So let's see what Bowser can do. You know, we still have our big buddy Bowser here. There's gotta be something. Really take a good look though at what I can maybe move over to. I think for right now, I have to be very careful with this, but I could jump down. And if I were to do something like that, what would we want to do with it? I don't know right now. So let's just get over like this. Yeah, I have an idea or two. Then we get, maybe Bowser just up here. Would that be better? Cause couldn't we hit Dark Miss Bowser right there? Okay. That might be worth considering. Cause I could also run over this way and do some of that. I'd get rid of some of the Goombas, but I don't know if that's necessary. But right now, let's just focus on hitting Bowser. Gotcha. So he's already down a decent little chunk of health. We still have so much more to survive here though, so we can't get too complicated, or not confident, because it is still very complicated. Want more? All right then, so I think we will team jump off of Bowser, go all the way down to here. Got it? This is where we tackle you, we tackle Magikoopa twice, and then we blast you. Ooh, if you were just a little bit more over, that'd be a big difference maker. As it currently stands out, it seems just as fine just to attack them directly. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, I guess I could have saved my some of my tackles, but I needed them to actually reach this area, so that's fine there. I am a little bit worried about Rabbit Peach being over here, I guess my best bet is not to have them over there, but instead over here. Uh, I can't can't quite reach the Magic Koopa from there. There we go. That's probably my best bet. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I never traded this out. The Splash Dash. I didn't mean that there. That was a silly move. Not really what I intended, but I could end up applying Splash to Bowser and it wouldn't be too bad. Um, in the meantime, 
I don't think it's worth resetting cooldowns unless I do just want to spawn in my uh, wild call for fun. I'll just spawn in the wild call for fun and see where it goes. I think by the time we're going to need it again, the cooldown will be, don't attack that, will be recycled anyway. So what more can we do? Bowser still has one more ability. We could do like an immunity charm here. Let's try the immunity charm. So Edge still has one more ability too. You know what we could do? I know I've been trying to save these for when the ref really gets going, but I don't know, I don't wanna risk it too much. Let's just get rid of the Magic Koopa like this. There you go, now you're done. Cool. End the turn there. Now the enemies are gonna get to move. And, oh, they will be in rage. Oh, maybe they're not? I can't believe they're not. Okay, that's very surprising. Or maybe they're like remote detonated, we're just waiting for Bowser, I don't know. This Magic Koopa is moving super far back to get a direct blast on Rabid Mario. That's not super desirable. But will you be able to attack Edge from here? Oh, you won't. You'll just go for the wild call. He's already out for the count. And Bowser's actually, the Dark Miss Bowser's hopping back this way to maybe do the same thing. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so this is where things get a bit scary. But we do have this scope. We're going really high up. Please don't. Okay, that was maybe not the best idea, friend. I don't know. Ah, uh, because this is happening. Okay, that wasn't too bad, though, actually. How do we do this? We need to get, I think I know, um, maybe. Uh, let's see, let's see. If I get, yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Like, go like this. No, come on. What do I need? I need this right here. Okay. Bounce Bowser over about here. I think that's good. Please tell me, yeah, Rabbit Peach can reach out. That's what I wanted. So now what we do is we go through here, build up ourselves and Bowser a little bit there. But more than anything, I can slide tackle onto these two and hurt Bowser like that. I could have splashed him. Oh no. Darn, not too good then. But we'll get how much we can heal up Rabbit Mario. That is a big ticket. I don't know how we got Rabbit Mario. Oh, because it was a jump. Okay, okay, here we go. We can do something pretty interesting here. Let's get the Gust Dash out. Waha, indeed. And we're going to gust dash you like this. And that does work, but... Oh yeah, you did fall off too. That's fantastic. I can't reach any farther for the time being, but what we can do, switch back to Rabbit Peach and change that. And now it's a sort of Dark Miss Bowser on his own. Hold on, I'm getting really mixed up with four characters. It's harder to figure out what I want to do. There we go. So we're just gonna knock you off again and then hit you with some major punches here if I can manage. So, boom, gotcha. And then while we're hiding, ooh, this is rough for you, isn't it? And he might spawn in some more friends here soon. This is why I'm really trying to take it upon myself to do as much damage as we can manage. So I can't get over there just yet, but maybe with Edge, we could inch our way over from the other side. And there is a uh, magic hoop over here we do have to worry about still. So just positioning myself to deal with all those things is pretty important. Maybe we hide you here instead, just so we can attack this Magic Koopa. Yeah, 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 let's go for it. And then I guess we can just use a normal mushroom to heal Edge up. Got it? Cool. In the meantime, we have other things we can do. We can still just keep blasting Bowser down, just like this. Boom, boom, boom. That's pretty nice. So, I think that's gonna exhaust everything we can do for now, unless we wanna spawn in some Mecha Koopas, this might be able to, if they can just march through the pipes, they can get over to maybe enough to blast them. It's so close, if Bowser even, or Dark Miss Bowser even moves a muscle here, I think we're just gonna be able to send him flying, unless he goes to the right, but that will also force him to do things he's probably not intending to do. So, get all these through, but we're actually doing quite a good number on Dark Miss Bowser now. One more, the whole family of them coming over. Let's see what he ends with doing. That's gonna be the end of our turn here, I think. Yeah, there's not too much of a point to do these other things. I guess I could have added extra move movement with the... Um, oh my gosh, I went through it. Okay, that's six. Oh no, it's a, it's a Mecha Koopa battle. Who's winning this? I don't know. The fireworks are flaming. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That was wild. And you're just gonna tackle us. Actually, this is fine. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Let's not speak so soon next time. But that's okay, because a portal's popping up. Who cares about that? The scoper's getting ready. He's gonna blast the Magic Koopa. Unfortunately, it doesn't do too much, but it was the thought that counts. We're gonna keep Bowser, or Dark Miss Bowser, Bowser, nice and situated over there. The way to do that is going to be to 
drop down on you like this, tackle you, hit you with the Sky Rain Frostbite, keeping you nice and stuck exactly where you are. Then we blast you. Nice. Now we're about to do that sort of same situation with, um, first we can splash you off. I guess I should have done this before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alrighty, already cool. That was pretty good. And then we can switch over to Rabid Mario and do more or less of the same. Ooh. Well, actually, I didn't send you the right way this time. There we go. Why, how are you getting up there? What? That was weird. Um, Activate the toxic. Do the ooze attack, that'll leave some extra damage. I think we're about to get him here. Yep, that is it. Very cool fight, we were able to handle it quite well. Nice. All right then, see you, Dark Mess Bowser. Our team of four led you to be no more. What is this? What? Evil Edge? That's scary. Defeat Darkness Edge. This is not gonna be an easy fight either. Genie, what's going on here? Unknown. For Cursa to create a clone such as this, it would need to inherit a DNA blueprint from the Megabug, or have created one itself. Hear this. Chris has got no idea what I'm made of, ha! but I'm gonna show it. Nothing's going to stop Edge from leading the charge. We'll need three to watch our back, and perhaps ours as well. All right, well, I'm really enjoying these four player battles, or I guess four character battles, whatever you might want to call them. We have some scopers on the outside here, um, and of course, they're weak to burn. On the inside, we have a magician who's weak to ooze, and a oozer who's weak to gust. And then on, of course, the very center, we have the Darkness Edge. Highly skilled close quarters combatant with the ability to chain multiple targets together. Its technique allows it to provide protection for itself and its allies. It is once again resistant to burn. So we probably don't want too much burn here. Um, even if this is weak to it, I don't think it's really worth worrying about too much. So mostly Gust and Ooze are our two goals here. So honestly, I think in terms of sparks, we're fine with what we currently have. So we're back out here again. The first thing I'll do is have Rabbit Peach heal, just like this. So everybody should be just about at full. Rabbit Mario is a little low, but I'm gonna, going to have Rabbit Mario team up with Peach on this side, I think. And if we could go on the outside and fight the scopers off first, I think that's a pretty good idea. So, yep, let's get you over here. And then we can team jump off of you. Ooh, here we go. We, we're onto a couple of things here, actually. Because then maybe I could, oh, I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. Because what's the farthest, this is the farthest Rabbit Mario can go? Yes. Hmm. Um, I want to get, we can reach that too, ooh, okay. Couple things we can do here then. Interesting. For right now, I'm just going to dash you and do as much damage as I can like that. Then we will blast you with this, I suppose. Seems like the best idea. Just getting rid of the scopers now so they're not doing damage when we're trying to attack Edge or Darkness Edge would be great. So I think we want to do the same thing between Edge and Rabid Peach over this way. The only concern with that is that I don't know if everybody can reach. So maybe it would be good to just keep everybody as grouped as possible for now or maybe just have one straggler. Yeah, let's try this out really quickly. What I want to do, team jump over. I don't think there's a spot where I could, I'm going to try. Can you reach that? You can't reach that. So let's see, can Rabbit Peach, yeah, reach this way. Let's keep everybody grouped up then as much as we can. I feel like there's definitely some kind of crazy thing we can manage with this. We find just the right spots. So we're gonna enter through this pipe and that should be the ability to reach there and to reach here. You are weak to what again, burn. So yeah, doing as much damage as we can do just like this would be fantastic. Get you again, and we will just finish you off. Got it. And we're not quite done with Rabbit Mario. Of course, he can still move after his step, so we want to get him over here. And I think just position to take on the next scoper would be the best idea. So through this way, it is crazy the amount of movement we have on the outskirts of this map. We can just basically cycle through the whole thing now. That is wild. Um, so just hiding him, I think, right here. 
if I get attacked, I just am able to do a counter blow. And we have the one shield on us from Peach, so that will protect us even greater than it did before. You know, like we're just gonna be fine there. Um, we can team jump off of Rabid Peach again, so that we can maybe have some more options here, because I see a couple. We're going to try to go through the pipe for now. Oh, and I can reach you. Ooh, this is actually sort of big. Let me dash you once normally so I can get some extra range. And then we're really gonna mess with you now. You are in so much trouble. We really are proving who's the better edge here. I'm gonna knock you this way. And then knock you again. And that should knock you off the side of the map, right? Ah, not quite. Almost there. Ready? There we go, that'll be some extra out of bounds damage. And then we're gonna hit everybody here with this toxic. It won't hurt them too much, but it will do a good number to them. Okay, that is feeling really good. Now switching, Peach still has one extra ability she can do here if we wanted to go crazy with that. Um, you know what, why not? Maybe now's a good time. Uh, I don't know if it's the best time though, because I don't have any way to get Rabbit Peach out here. So I think we should move Rabbit Edge back to where it might be safer, um, since there's not really too much more we can do here. So maybe even out this way? I think that's fine. Yeah, what we could do here is hide her somewhere like this, because that should definitely be enough range to get back to that jumping panel next time. So she can't do much. We could spawn in a squash yet just to make its way closer to the action later, but I think I want to be really close for the wild fall to spawn in. Um, so they're gonna go through the pipes right now, and they're jumping over, it's working. So we'll end that there, because there's nothing to attack with this. Yep, not a bad first turn though. We got some really good setups there. Some of these guys are gonna adjust, but not any to the point where I'm like concerned, especially since most of them are gonna focus on like the squash at here. And it healed itself, but not Edge. Go on. This one's a little awkward. And one of those lands, one landing is not too big of a deal. Now that, poor Squash Ed, but I'd rather Squash Ed take it than our actual, you know, teammates, you know? Oh no, now this is where I can get a bit more concerned. Oh my goodness, three tackles and the sword throw. So it really does control just like Edge does. So, this seems complicated, but I think there's a way out of this where we can get a lot done. Um, the, the only problem now though is that there's a very limited window of opportunity to make this stuff work. So, I could, Get Rabbit Mario through here, first things first. Back over this way. And I don't want them quite in there just yet, but as close as we can get everybody so that when we activate the shield, hopefully that gets us, you know, what we want. So, go through like this, and then Edge can just jump all the way over. And I think we're just gonna focus fully on doing as much damage to Edge or Darkness Edge as possible. So once again, get you about here. Just don't go into the range just yet. And then Rabbit Peach could maybe just do this here. So let's see, is this shield gonna reach any of them? No, it won't. Okay, uh, what's my other choice here? I could fully heal with a mushroom and do that, but or I can send you flying. I don't know if that's gonna be too good for us, though. I think, you know what? Let's try one thing. With this activate, if you go through the pipe, maybe it'll activate her sort of hero sight that she has, the villain sight. Come on, please. Yes, 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 here we go. Oh no, no, wait, that also hurt Peach. No! So she's knocked down. Now that might be actually a huge problem. We might have to redo this fight because of that. So my planning didn't pay off the way I wanted it to. That's a shame, but there's still so much more here that I can do, starting with dashing you. We're just gonna go full on with damaging edge and just sort of full send it. Whatever happens, happens. There's some more criticals coming in. Now over to Rabbit Mario. Um, like I said, I'm not even going to worry about attacking that. We are instead gonna go for this. So if we could do some gust damage here, that'd be amazing. Um, some gust dashing. And knock you off the map with that. That'll add some extra. I know that's also hurting uh, our wild call friend for whatever reason, but it is what it is. We're gonna get you over here and do the same thing again. And this can happen multiple times. So I wish we had a spark refresh right now. That'd be amazing, but we're just gonna have to stick without it, I think. Well, actually, 
This might be worth it. Let's do the, do the cooldown clock. Activate this and hope that this is a good idea. <laughs> it might not be. Um, well, I mean, we got an action point earned from it, so it could be, because this would do 283 three times. This would do 160% damage plus any super effects. Any one of them, I don't know which one would do more damage. But we're just gonna keep doing this for now. Or, if this is doing a lot of damage, which it's doing a lot of damage, but not enough for us to like, defeat them entirely, I don't think. I mean, Rabbit Mario can still attack. You know what? Oh, I can't use any other items. That's right, geez. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna have to do the ooze. I was thinking maybe I could use the, the dash cookie, but. Oh, that sends you flying again. And we get another action point. No way. So activate the storm blade. We might be able to defeat you here. It is going to be super, super close. We're just gonna start punching you like crazy. That'll send you flying and that's gonna activate Edge's ability to move on you. And then you're gonna fall out of bounds. And maybe that's enough. It is so close, 589 damage. We've used every source of everything except for a POW block right here. Oh my goodness, we did it. So Peach got taken out, but we did everything in our power to just totally destroy them afterwards. What a fight. That was definitely crazy. Hmm. Whoa. Have we made it to the observatory? It's so dark. Hey, there we go. It's a buddy. Oh no. There it is. It's Cursa. Rosalina's still trapped inside. Watch out! It's Cursa! So we're just fighting Cursa right away. Defeat Cursa's astral arm. And we have everybody? No way! That is crazy. This is gonna be quite the battle then. Oh my goodness. So could we really use all of them at once? Well, this is the moment we've the been working to of all darkness. Cursa, though we are divided amongst three battlefields, our only chance is to work together. Cursa itself is too far to reach, but its astral arm is not. Focus on that, uh, as well as not getting hit. Cursa's likely plan of attack with the arm will be to target a hero with it shortly before thrusting it downward at them. We'll use this to our advantage. See those trampolines? If a hero leaps onto one, a jagged spike will rise from the floor. Whoa. Take care that the hero attempting to leap onto a trampoline is nowhere near the arm, otherwise it will throttle them. That is not good. So we need to destroy both arms here. I mean, I guess I'm starting with this setup. I don't know if I can change the team or what. So it is just three of them, but I'm locked to these three because I think they're all in their own different parts of the island. So we'll try to figure out how this goes. Because in reality, could I switch to those ones? Yeah, you can see they're all over there. Let's check this out. Cursa's astral arm, a projection created by Cursa. Though it may appear to have no physical form, its attacks are devastating and has 14,105 health, as well as a huge collection of other things here, like enemies we to burn and splash. But we're not focused on them right now. I think we're just mostly focused on um, Mario, Peach, and Rabbit Rosalina. So here we go. That arm is moving over. So apparently if we jump over, oh no. Uh, one of these trampolines, we, how does this work? Oh, this is so spooky. I'm going to jump from this and it turns into a big spike. Oh, I thought it was saying that I, ow, oh my goodness. That was crazy. So we don't want to do that? What if I just shield everybody right away? That might be the best bet. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everybody is shielded. Um, Cause I can't blast, no, I can blast it. Okay. Then maybe I should? I could also damage boost everybody. That might be just the better thing to do here. And we'll see what that ends up doing for us. Very not good that I've already taken damage out. I'll, tell, I'll say that much. So you guys are weak to burn. So if I could maybe get them out there somehow. This is so intense. Oh man. Uh, 
Because what I could do here, actually, what might be smarter, get over this way. Dash, oh, I should've dashed all three of them or to have the full anyway. Um, and then blast you with some burn attack. We do have the shield right now, so if we don't do everything perfect, it's okay. We're gonna be defending, so let's get rid of you. Now you're really on fire. And that's you defeated. Over this way, I'm going to start with this, but maybe actually I'll activate the hero site. There we go, hero site activated. Then we do the sky rain burn. And then when some of these guys start moving, hopefully we can blast them. It's not activating the hero side at all. That was odd. Uh, oh, because they're all defeated. So I guess we just wait here and see what ends up happening with this. We've made everybody move past the turn. So will the arm slam? It will, it's getting hurt. That was good, that was good. So it won't, oh, I understand how this works now. Okay, now we can really just blast down your health a little bit too. That was good. And it's moving over there? Oh, it's over here. So do we get to play as these three now? And we don't get to choose the sparks for them. I guess I should have looked into that. Um, They're weak to splash. They're not weak to anything. You're weak to burn. So let's just hope we have some splash and burn on our setup. We do have a little bit of splash, no burn. So as you can see, it is currently focused on Rabid Mario. So what we need to do is get somebody like Lu Luigi to jump off of it. They won't grab Luigi. Oh, it will. Okay. I stand corrected. Jeez. Oy. That's not how that works. So I just need to make sure it's like way farther away than that. Okay, well, in the meantime, um, we need to keep... If I could activate this, it's probably the best to do. And we might fail this fight. I'm not quite sure. You know, this is my first time trying it. Oh, there's a wall there. Okay, let's try it from this side. Ready? See ya. And then we can punch you out from this distance. Let's get as far away as we can, because that'll also hurt Curse's arm. There we go. Let's just go crazy with this on. Got it. Oh no, you didn't like that very much, did you? Ah! Poor Rabbit Mario, everybody's getting hurt over here. Let's go over to Rabbit Luigi, and at least dash into you. Probably should have done that sooner, because it would have made you weaker. Okay, um. But we could try this thing. What is it? It revives. Oh, okay. I could just try a splash attack over here too. And we got the spark refresher, so that'll be available next next attack. Yeah, let's try this. Got it. And not too much over there, but that should be the enemy defeated. And Curse's arm should get hurt here. And now switching over to Luigi. Luigi hasn't done anything yet. So this is where we could at least first things first. Yeah, I can't go any farther than this, unfortunately. I think we just blast you. And then when it moves again, we activate three shot Steely Stare, and that's gonna do a pretty major number. I can't skip these anymore, huh? Oh yeah. So let's see. Just gonna blast you for now. Oh, it just, that's interesting. Why is it automatically going off? It's not moving. Maybe it just counts as in motion, considering the fact that, you know, Rabbit Mario can still move around. So let's do this, pass the turn, and it should just get hurt by the spike right away, right? I guess we'll see. The scoper is moving back, but won't be able to hit Rabbit Mario, and I think this one's gonna try a similar thing. Yeah, it's, they might be going for Luigi, actually. And that one, same deal. And then this one over here. This one, no damage landed from the actual opponent, so let's see this arm. Gonna try to slam, but get hurt, hurts by the spike. Huge bonus there. So it's gonna move away again. Back to this side. Ooh, no, over here. So this is where we have our other trio. Of course, gonna be Bowser, Rabbit Peach, and Edge. How do we wanna do this? First thing to keep in mind, of course, is that this is way over here. We can't have you team jumping or jumping off this panel at all. Bowser can do it, though. So we're going to activate this, just like this, and we gotta be steering clear of it as much as possible. I will have Peach hanging out over here, then, and see what happens if we just spawn these in. The wild, will the wild call be able to attack the, the arm? Because if so, that's huge. That'll be so much damage. So let's see, do you turn? 
You don't. It doesn't seem like you recognize it. Okay, so I guess for now, we'll just burst it with this as much as we can. It's not a ton, but over these last couple of turns, we're, we're slowly lowering its health. Does this do anything? It doesn't. So I think we're better off with just hiding here, activating the Storm Blade. Just trying to keep nice and protected, because you know these other enemies are gonna get the chance to move eventually, and they might end up getting us. So I might wanna hide Edge over here instead. And I wanna attack the hand. There we go. Well, we don't get any kind of exciting music for this or anything, it is just pure scariness. So what do you have, Bowser? You have Scoper. The Scoper might be able to attack it. And if not anything else, it gives extra targets for these other opponents to attack that aren't our main characters, which is always really good. The Scoper is gonna focus on the arm. That's awesome. And now we can blast like this. Boom. And we're getting this thing really low. It'll take more damage as it slams on this spike in a moment. But right now, it is already down to 2,500 health. Nothing more our teammates can do, so we're just gonna end the turn again. The Squash Hat's moving over, but I don't know if it's a Squasher, not Squash Hat. And this one is gonna go for the wild call. It will. That's exactly what we're sort of hoping for. And what about you? You're just gonna probably attack the block. Yep. Really good stuff so far. So you're gonna move and get hurt. And that's almost it totally defeated. So we're moving back over here. And now this one's coming in. Focusing on Rabbit Rosalina. There are some enemies that are gonna, going to be spawning in next turn, but what if I just attacked you directly? That's enough to defeat it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think that's what we just do to start things off. Maybe hide it over here. But just defeat this arm and see what happens. It's gone. Now what do we do? I guess we're just preparing for um, the next set of things to spawn in here, which obviously we don't want to be over here, but if I could... You know, just get Peach a little bit farther back. That's maybe a good idea. Yeah, we defeated Curse's Astral Arm. Now there's just, you know, another one waiting, which, can I attack that one? I can't, it's sort of like out of range. Okay, just leave everybody here then and end the turn. That's as defensive as we can do, because there's a portal here, you know, an enemy's gonna pop out of it. It's gonna be a squasher. Not hitting Mario, it was close though. But next turn should be quite doable. And what do we have? A scoper. Ooh, okay. That does make things a little bit scarier, but back over here. It's focused on Rabbit Mario. How much health does it have, though? It has 635, so if we were to once again just punch, 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 that is this arm defeated. So does that leave Cursa open? I think it does. Whoa! Rosalina, break free. Ooh, we're not quite done. We're still fighting Cursa on these platforms. But what's the deal now? Even more enemies. Are we gonna defeat more arms? Or maybe these like ribbons? Or tentacles or whatever they are? Guess we're about to find out. The power it generates is nearly incalculable. It must be powered by the sparks Cursor captured and exploited. Those sparks can still be saved. Set them free by hitting the star. Without their power, Cursa will weaken. So we need to hit the star in the center of Cursa. Then let's go for it. This is just gonna be our setup. Hopefully it goes well. Um, we have plenty of teammates here, so. Let's get going. First thing I wanna do is maybe get this group out this way. Um, Cause it was the squash heads that are strong against, or weak against frostbite, so. We could do something interesting here. I think we want to get her out like this. And if they're frozen, they really can't do too much, so that would be good. The only thing is that, what are you weak to? Oh, you're, you're not with the frostbite. You know, that's where it just, just gets a little complicated. But I can at least do some fairly good damage against these two. Come on, come on. Not too bad, is it? Oh, it actually defeated them entirely. So I think I go here, I could maybe find a good angle where I can hit the both of them, just like this. Those are the things we need to maximize on. So there's our first hit on Cursa, switching back over to Rabbit Rosalina. And while I'm not entirely sure everything I can do here, I know that at the least we can start dealing with these guys a little bit by, um, maybe I could just anyway. I wonder, ah, uh, 
was a little bit farther over there. I could have just gotten them all. Okay, we'll do what we can with this group then. You know, it's at least something. Make them fall asleep. And that way we can focus entirely on Cursor with this one. Yeah, seems like a good idea to me. Just light that up a little bit. That's a lot of damage to Cursor. And then now it's, now it's Mario's turn. We don't want to focus on them if they're frozen. Um, I could try to get out there like this. That wouldn't even defeat you. So like maybe it's not worth worrying about. Instead, I think we just deliver some damage to Cursor here like this, like this, and then we do Hero Sight. I don't know if Cursor will move, but this will count. But in the meantime, we'll do Hero Sight. There we go. Like using everybody special sooner or later. So I think that's everything we can do as a team right now. We're just gonna pass the turn and see what they end up doing. This guy's gonna move a little bit. And that's that defeated. Very good. So the rest of them can't move, but more portals are popping up. And Curse is just gonna attack Rabbit Rosalina. That's concerning. Um, but them moving doesn't activate the hero sight. So that was sort of a blunder. It is what it is, though. I, I couldn't have known that. So we're back here with Luigi and the rest of the gang. I feel like I want to trade spots here a little bit, so maybe I'll get Luigi back here. Hmm. Right about there, I think, is maybe a bit better. Yes. Jump over. <laughs> I think that was a good idea. We'll see, I suppose. Um, get down, y'all. Yeah, we'll see how we can combo this, because Luigi can just back up, very simply. So how far can these two go out so that I can make sure that... Here we go, here we go. And jump over like this, and we are going to take you down as much as I can manage. And you are weak to burn. Unfortunately, I can't do too much about that, but I could use Gust. So you know, let's do Gust Dash just to damage this enemy off a little bit. This is definitely going to be a lot more of a tough fight than the previous one. That's why we have items, and defenses, and things like that. So I'll do that for now, and I'm hoping that yeah, I can at least punch these two out. Oh no, let's find that right angle. I had it before. There it is. So these two are defeated. It's not a lot of damage to Cursa. Oh no. Run, run, I made a huge mistake there. I'm so sorry, Rabbit Luigi. Maybe if I was faster with it, I could have done more. That is really concerning though, because now we can't do too much here. I could do this out. All right, let's see the funky footwork. We're just seeing everybody's special moves now. And I still can't attack you, unfortunately. I could, you know, use the clear but I don't know if it's worth it. Let's switch to Luigi and get him as far back as we can while still being able to attack Cursa. That's actually already too far. Come on. Finding that perfect spot. This is actually, here we go. I was gonna say maybe too far, but we're also gonna spawn in an Oozer. The Oozer is for um just, I think, extra target practice, if not anything else, but we can attack you directly, which is great. And nobody else can spawn anything here, but we could do this. That's just gonna revive. Which honestly, I think this is the best one to have the revive on, considering that, um, ooh, that does so much too. Look at how much damage this will do. Boom, 3,331. But considering the fact that these guys don't have any shields or any kind of healing support characters with them, them having this spark is actually a really big deal. So we're gonna stop there. More enemies are moving and I'm sure more will spawn in soon. Luckily, the slab is protecting us a little bit. Luigi does get hit, but was he able to shield from some of it for some reason? I don't know what we had. Okay, poor Luigi does take some damage. And that was a ton of damage from Curse to Rabbit Mario. But all in all, it could have been worse. Now we're switching over to our last group here. And I do want to see, how is Curse's health doing? Almost halfway down. That is very promising. But over this way, we have these guys that are weak to ooze, these guys that are weak to burn, and then these guys who are weak to frostbite. Okay. I think we jump out there as soon as we can with whoever we can. Where's Edge? Edge is way over here. So I, I don't appreciate that Edge was the farthest one spawned back, but if I could just reach just one of them, then I will be in a good spot to do a lot. Okay, here we go. So I might as well activate the Splash Dash, I guess. As long as nobody is resistant to Splash here. I don't think any of them are. So yeah, we're good, we're good. Um, activate the Splash Dash. This is on so many of them flying around. 
like that. And oh, maybe not a good idea. Immediately as soon as I do that, I realize how silly of an idea that was because now I can't. Okay, I can attack you too then. And that's at least, oh yeah, that's both from the defeated for sure. So that's good. Uh, back over to Bowser. Who can I get where? Rabbit Peach hasn't jumped off of you yet. Huh. Yeah, actually, that should be fine. If I get Rabbit Peach about here, that's really not too big of a deal. Because then I can spawn in a, um, a squash. You can jump over gaps. We want to get closer before we do the Wild Claw one. Oh, and that's going to damage you and knock you off the side too. Amazing. And I can't quite reach. Uh, Cursa just yet. So we're just going to do this. And, oh no, I didn't really think about this too much, did I? I should have positioned that first. Okay, this isn't the best thing in the world, but at the least I can maybe do this. It just goes right between everything. So that's pretty cool. Got it. Gonna lower some of the shields for next time. And then we got the scoper. The scoper is great because that's gonna be long distance and we can attack at least something that's out in the open. So maybe not a ton of damage or any damage to curse at this time, but we're positioning ourselves really well for the next fight. And then, I don't want to heal just yet. I want to save that for next time. I don't want to spawn in the Wild Call just yet either. Um, I don't know if there's too much I can really do here then. I could spawn in the Palbok and use it later. Yeah, just leave it there. It's probably our best possible move. Pass the turn. They're going to move over and maybe just do damage to our spawnables, which I'm totally cool with. That's what they're there for. Yeah, they really are focusing a lot on that. That's probably the biggest tip I can give at this point, is that these spawnable sparks can be so powerful because they, they give the enemy an extra target to focus on. Poor Bowser does take a good chunk of damage there, but Curse is turning their attention to the first group, Mario, Peach, and Rabbit Rosalina. Let's see what we can make the most of them, because there aren't really too many enemies around. Well, there, there's an okay chunk of them, so if we are worried about stuff, maybe I could start dashing and doing some things. Um, it's also, they're more susceptible to damage now that they're NUI'd. So, dash into you and, and just make you NUI'd again, so you can't do anything about it. Um, I can't dash into you, though. That's about the extent I can do there. So, maybe this is where we just go full on with damage. Because we can boost everybody's damage, like that. Unfortunately, after that, all we can really do is add the shield. There we go. So, apply the shield, our team barrier. Yeah, it's, it's weird that in this final boss, it doesn't let me skip those animations anymore. Which, you know, I'm not complaining too much. It's just a little odd. Mm. Anyways, we're just going to turn a full focus with this extra damage to uh, Cursor. Since we have all the shielding, this, I think, is our best bet. So, same thing here, but I could also add this fire damage. I'm just worried that that would wake them up, so I think I'll save that. Um, let's go for it. Right over here. Blast and blast. I really hope there's not another phase after this because I am using a lot of my items, but I could also activate a power block here and this toss at a cursor. Will that not reach? No, it wouldn't reach for some reason. Okay, I think the same thing. We drop it for next turn, but if we have an extra turn here for Rabbit Rosalina, which we do, I think we just use a normal mushroom to get her basically back at the okay, health. That is good. That is good. I agree. So we have all this shielding, so even if the most ferocious of enemies pop out of this portal, we should be okay. And so far, it is a scoper that's definitely going to call in that, which is certainly a pain. And I don't entirely know what we want to do with it, because Rab or Mario might be stuck next turn. It really depends. He's like on the outer edge of it. But that shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. So of course, once again, Curse is moving over, but I think Curse is less than halfway through health now, which is amazing. Okay, so, how are things looking? They made it so that that guy can't attack. And, oh, and you attack us directly. That's what we want to see, friend. Awesome. So where can I move Rabid Luigi? I'm thinking down this way is going to be the move. Something like this. Because does Cursa have resistance to all types or none? Yeah, I guess nothing. Cursa. Cursa can move between platforms and attack an opponent after another. So yeah, I don't know if you read that before. But I could do this. And that gets everybody except for Cursa. Is there any way I could get Cursa instead? Oh, I could do this. There we go, that hits everybody. So if I want to do that one, of course, also activate the splash attack, sending them flying. And I can't unfortunately reach you from there. So 
Guess I can't do any kind of side attack, but I can do this. That'll at least defeat a couple of them too. Really good. Sending the rest flying in more of a convenient positioning too. Cause we're not gonna slide tackle anybody else, you know? Um, so I just dash you off the side a little bit and then one more to finish you off. We go over here and that would do a good chunk. Would this add more? I'm pretty sure. Let's try it. All right, Rabbit Mario, you know the deal. Get the punch in. I think that adds more. It's not resistant, so I don't think it would reduce the damage. And then Luigi. Once again, we're gonna move Luigi as far as we possibly can, but still allowing us to hit her. Oh, this might be enough too. Oh my goodness. That's the farthest we can go, it's right about here. So let's maximize on that damage and see if it's enough to defeat Cursa. It is so close, she's at 162. So this might be the most we can do for now, but the next turn, she's gonna be in so much trouble. I don't know if there's any portals popping up. Doesn't look like it, so that's all we can do here. We're so, so close. Let's pass the turn over to Bowser in the game, right? If some portals are gonna pop up, you're gonna blast someone. There's not too much you can do about that. But here we go. Oh man, we are so close. This is our chance to defeat Cursa finally. Who should do the honors? Oh, it might be you. Okay, I was gonna say, it'd be so funny if that did it. Um, I think Edge would be a cool one to finish it off with. So let's try it. Will this land? It will, it'll be enough to defeat Cursa. Come on! No way, we did it! They fall hard. They do indeed. Oh man. All oh, the sparks are breaking free. Huh? It's beautiful. There were so many in there. I can't believe we did it. Rosalina! Aww. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. We might not be finished. That's not good. What was that thing? Was that just a mega bug? Oh no. But Rosalina is here to help. Will that be enough to defeat this monster? This is pure Cursa, for sure. We did it! She is finally free from Cursa's grasp! Once more we have rattled Cursa. I sense her hatred towards us. The most savage and intense yet. I believe I am scared, Beepo. Not just for myself, for all of us. We're scared too, Genie. It's as normal and as natural as emotions come. Try to focus on the task at hand. I'm scared too. This seems like a lot. Yes, yes, of course. Those projections there, take note of them. I believe she created them to harness the collective energy of our weapons to amplify the power of her wand. If we charge the wand enough times, it may help us disable Cursa's defenses, allowing us to strike directly at Cursa. Ooh, okay. So maybe one last trial to get through to here? Defeat Cursa with only 7,000 health. I don't think the challenge is actually getting to the health, but, or defeating, you know, like running through that with the damage, it's, breaking these. So it's a little confusing because I can't like focus on these. Can I focus on Cursa itself? Yes, I can. Cursa attacks one opponent in front of her, cannot be defeated by regular weapons. Her wings can push away exposed opponents. And there's Rosalina here too. I don't think I can check on her though. This seems crazy. So let's back out of there. I don't know if I want to go too crazy with sparks here, but we have some that are weak to splash over here. So maybe I want to get that set up with this crew. All right, here we go. So who do we want to attack first? How do we want to make this happen? We have these enemies out here, and remember we still have the MUI with, um, with Rabid Peach, or Rabid Rosalina. So maybe I could just get her just about there, I think is gonna be the best spot. Dash into you, MUI the rest of them. Well, most of them. There's still some enemies over there, but that's fine. 
So we'll try this out. And how do we get rid of this thing here? Oh, we can just attack it with the Kaboomer? Let's just see how this works. Because we can't really like target it any other way. Is this what we're supposed to do? Will that charge up Rosalina to 22%? So that definitely seems like what I'm supposed to do. Um, well, like I said before, a lot of these enemies are NUI'd, so we don't have to worry about Peach's shield this time around too much. But, let's see who I can position where, because I think I want Peach to go over here. Oh, I hope you reach. I hope you can make it. You can, you can, we're fine, we're fine. So we can dash into you. I guess I should have boosted everybody's uh, stuff. I could do this just to freeze you though. It'll make it so that, you know, there's not too much of a risk there, I guess. It's not gonna be super effective damage, but it's still a lot for one flame stooge to deal with. And then we can just hit it like this. Here we go, here we go. That should affect the, uh, the star rod. Come on, 630, getting us up to 29%. So now it's all to Mario over here to start blasting. So we want to focus all in on that thing. Will adding some electric shock attack do anything? I have no clue. So let's see for ourselves. Blast, blast. Oh my gosh, it gets it to maybe 50%. 45, that's wild. So that's everything we can do for this turn, but we're in a perfect position. Oh wait, there's this one guy right here. <laughs> I did not see him. That's okay. One enemy, only doing 800 damage. is It's barely a sneeze compared to how powerful. Okay, now that a little bit more concerning, but we're okay. We're switching over to the action here where we have a lot more to deal with. Um, starting with Rabin Mario, I could get out this way and start you know, dealing with you like this. You are resisting the frostbite, so I think we're okay with the splash dash, but do we just wanna go crazy instead and just focus on how much damage could I send to the star rod in one gal? You know what I mean? Um, I can't quite reach it from here, but maybe from here, I'm just trying to find out. Here we go. Oh, that is so much. So if it's a critical, it'll be a huge jump up. That's already gonna bring it to 70%. Then we turn Luigi and drop down a oozer to maybe help out with this big guy. I think we maybe just forego getting damage. Like it's gonna happen or it's not gonna happen. I don't know if we can control it. Well, now that guy can't attack and he gets hit. He's not gonna like that very much, but uh, we'll just have to move. Where's Rabbit Luigi at? Way over here. So I'm hoping, and I think I could, if I could just find maybe a slightly better way. Where's the farthest Rabbit Mario can move? Unfortunately, only that far. Okay, that definitely sort of sinks, but I don't know. Let's switch over to Rabbit Luigi. I was hoping there was a way we could hit that star rod. I just don't think there is. So let's get Rabbit Mario to jump off of you. And we'll do everything we can with that. Unfortunately, it might not be enough to reach you. It won't be. So we are going to dash into you and then dash again. Go over here, activate the fire punches. It's not too much damage um, to the, the rods, but it's just, it's something, you know? And this will send you on fire. Come on, come on. Ah, wait, no, that did not affect. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Back over to you. Maybe this would allow it. Ah, not quite. You'd think there would be like this magic angle where it would work. Unfortunately, no. So we'll just do this. It'll defeat you too. So at least it's not anybody being majorly damaged here, as you can see. Um, like Luigi can't get hit by that thing. There is, oh no, that's our oozer in the background. So we're good. Let's finish it there. You're gonna walk up to us. You might still be able to do this attack, but that's fine. Cause Luigi's in direct line of sight. I forgot about this flame stooge. Once again, it's not that much damage. It's barely anything. That is more of a problem, but we're okay. Switching over then. Oh my, whoa, I forgot about that. Uh oh, it's okay. Now we're over here with Edge, Bowser, and Rabbit Peach, and there's a lot of enemies on this one, but we are already at 70% with that. We could do something major here, I'm sure of it. So let's just try to figure out some good combos for everybody. We need to get Edge over to some enemies as soon as possible, so let's move Rabbit Peach back, actually. The farthest Edge can go out, I think is about here. So we have Edge team jump off of Rabbit Peach and start tackling some of you guys. Just like that. 
Should gotcha. I go for it? Yeah, just do this four times if we have to. Gotcha. There we go. So we can get out to here. And I got that one. Now, I might just want to add some ooze damage here. And then throw that at the Star Rod and see what damage I get to two. Right over here. That might be enough. Oh my goodness. Tons of criticals. Did we just do it? 100%. See ya. Let's go. Oh man. 10,000 damage. What do we do now? Uh, good question. What did that do? Uh, maybe because his arms were closed? Did that not do anything? I'm so confused. I'm so very confused. Um, let's double check because now I'm really concerned that I just did all that for nothing. I mean, it's open. Curse attacks one opponent in front of her, cannot be defeated with by regular weapons. Her wings can push away exposed opponents. Maybe I just need to keep doing that. I'm so confused though. It didn't seem like it worked. Uh, okay. Let's team jump over to here. Just do what we can with Bowser. Slam it onto you. We'll dash into you too. And I think we will spawn in, of course, a scoper to help us. That might be better. Where did the cow? Okay, there it is. It just took some time. And that missed both shots. So for right now, we'll get some Mecha Koopas out here. It's like one of the last specials we haven't used so far. And that'll at least destroy this guy a bit. Sending him all over the place. There we go. Is that you defeated? Bowser's on fire to you. I'm really confused out, I'm, and I'm very concerned. Let's just finish you off. Maybe I might need a couple more criticals. That's enough, awesome. Okay, let's summon a Squashette for now. But I feel like I've made a mistake somehow. I, I think we just gotta keep going and see for ourselves. And, oh, it knocks one of them out of the way like a ping pong ball. Let's end the turn like that. We'll be able to heal everybody up next turn here if they take any damage, which Edge might take a good beating, I'm not sure. They're focusing on the squash F for now, which is great for our situation. Hmm. Okay, so we'll you use the electric dash next turn with Edge. But we're about to wrap around all the way as soon as um, Cursa attacks, which should be right here. So Cursa attacks again. Cursa seems wide open, does the gust attack and blows everybody back. That's not too surprising. But now it's up to us. We still have a lot of NUI opponents here. And there is this guy over here, which I'm not even really too concerned about. Maybe I just dash into you to finish this off. Uh, finally. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe something like this. This would do some pretty significant damage, right? Because they're both weak to splash. And this, I don't know if this hurts that. I guess we're gonna find out. The Star Rod, here's open. It doesn't seem like it did, but it knocked them out of bounds, which is pretty huge. And then we're just going to start bringing this back up, because we have to. All right, well that's 20%. All right, Mario, you know the deal here. I mean, that guy still has so, so much health. I don't even know how. I think we just go straight in again. I think we just attack this thing as much as we can. I should have done more damage boosting then, but I guess what I could do instead is activate the shield. That way everybody is protected. Now that everybody is protected, I might just be able to dash into you if on a nice good angle to blast both of them. And that's at least a little bit more. And we're knocking you off the side again. Nice. Okay, Mario. Not the best position for you, I know, but... Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. And I guess we just activate Hero Sight here. We have those shields ready to protect us. And with that, we end this turn. All right. I don't know, I'm so nervous here. I just don't know if this is gonna work at all. All right, all right Mario can blast you too. That might be you defeated, it is. And Peach will take no real damage. It made them splash. Oh, because of the shield explosion. I forgot about that. Okay, not too bad. No damage taken. There were 38%. Oozer is going to do some moves here, which I actually really appreciate. Um, 
where what do we want to do where first i could just dash into you dash into both of these guys actually i want to do too much to you but to you it would do quite a lot which would be great considering you know they're scary i mean but let's the closest i can get to this rod that's also something i'm focusing on right there let's just blast it that'll bring it up so so much all the way up to 62 percent how do we want to do this then because i could do some splash dashes to these guys just to start things off i'm going to try to splash dash them oh i guess this would defeat them well then what if i did it this way i'm trying to find a way to hit them both at once why that way? I guess he bounced off the wall or something silly. Either way, he's far enough back that he can't really reach us very easily. So that's good for us. We're going to move Rabbit Mario as far as we can over here and then have them team jump off of Rabbit Luigi. Yeah, something like this. I did it the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on. Punch it back here. Switch it back over. Team jump. There we go. See, isn't that much better? That should be enough just to reach this. Punch it quite a lot. Getting it to what percentage? 72%. I was hoping for more from that one. Gotta be honest. Uh, and I can't reach from here. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, that is so lame. That is so very lame. I can't do that. Okay, we're just gonna have to end the turn there. Um, I mean, I could also activate Steely Stair just in case that guy tries to get us. I think that'll be fine. But geez, this is sort of ridiculous so far. So I still don't entirely know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I am. I think it's just a matter of we just have to do that multiple times. Here comes some more enemies out. I'm gonna blast Rabbit Mario, who definitely will need a, an item next turn. Switching over here. I mean, that sort of works. Can't complain too much. Bowser is all the way back. That is a concern. I think we do this. We send out our Wild Claw friend, really just to give you a headache. Okay, ready, see ya. Nice, one more enemy defeated. So what are our odds here of doing this? That would do a lot of percentage there. Okay, I think we go for it. I think we just go for it right here. And that, that was a lot of criticals. Will it be Ed's getting it to 100% again? I think it will be, come on. Here we go. It's gotta do something this time. It says 10,000. It's getting rid of an arm. I didn't see that before. So the arm has been like fizzled away. Okay, we still have a chance then. Um, the only problem here is that these two are quite far away from each other. Is there any way I can help yeah, Bowser get a little bit closer? That's the farthest Bowser, Bowser can go, right? Well, we can get him from this side. We need to make sure he is hidden behind a wall of some sort though. So that he doesn't just get blown away again. I can at the least blast into you, finish you off like, okay, maybe not like that. Um, Cause, oh, you know what? We don't even need to. We can get Rabbit Peach to run over here and do it this way, this is so silly. Ready? Uh, oh no, I've already used the dash, so I can't. That is silly. Then I guess I'll just move her more forward. And it's not a huge heal, but we can heal ourselves. Turn back around. Oh, and there's you over there. That's not gonna finish you off. You gotta be kidding me. Um, it's fine. If we have to attack you, we'll attack you. It's something. What moves do we still have left here? I could activate this, the Stormblade, just in case. And, uh, I mean, Bowser hasn't done anything yet. We could just do this. Why not? We still have to, you know, destroy that arm quite a few more times. I think twice. So, well, I, I guess that would mean I need to do this three more times. Two, two times for each arm remaining, and then one time to actually directly hit it. So, what might be good here is a cooldown clock. Use that item, and hope that the winds don't gust Bowser away. It's hard to tell from this angle if they will. And then Rabbit Peach can do something similar. I think we go for it. I think we go for the uh, the cooldown clock. Here we go. Cool. Um, so next turn will be pretty good for us, I think. Ooh, we're able to hit with that critical, but it's not quite enough. Now Edge is in a bad spot to be blown back away. Ooh, okay, that's not too big of a deal. More are going to spawn in soon, but for right now, 
blasting Bowser a bit. We'll be able to heal next turn. Oh, and they didn't do the direct, or not the direct shot, but the wind. How many enemies are still around here? We have a portal over that way, but beyond that, it's just this little guy. So I can at least get started with you, dashing an evil like this. I don't know if we want to worry about too much more, especially when we can just do a lot of work here like this. Oh, this could do so much, actually. The more I'm looking at this, the more lucrative it's looking. Let's get you set up like that. We are going to team jump Peach to maybe over here. I don't know if this is a better idea or a worse idea, but we're just gonna blast it as much as we can. It really doesn't do much. Like some of them do a lot of damage, some of them just not so much. Uh, but some of them aren't distance based. So for those ones, I think we take advantage of moving them over to like here. There we go. That should still do a four inch of damage, maybe even getting it to 50%. Wow, okay, 44. Then Mario. I mean, we already had Mario slide tackle you. It's not too much more I can do there. I could hide Mario back this way, and that would still reach, right? It would. So I think we activate the splash attack, which should add some extra damage. And we get the spark energy, so an action point was required from that. You know what? Okay. I still have more power blocks. You know how I like to use these things. Like this. Oh, maybe. Would that work? Does that not count? Was that a huge mistake? It does not seem to count. So you know what? It's yours. Hope you like it. <laughs> Jeez. Pretty brutal. But we're gonna hit this right there. And that is all the way up to 79%. We are looking good now, but still, Rabbit Rosalina has something she can do. We don't wanna do that. Um, I could do this just to lower the chances of getting hurt next round. Or for a couple of turns, really. So that's nice. Here come some enemies. Ooh, a little bit scary, but not close enough to do any damage. What about this one? Now that's a bit of a problem that might hurt Mario. But more than that, it displaces him, which is not what we wanted at all. It's gonna be hard to get him in a good spot, but maybe it won't matter too much. We'll be able to lower or raise this to 100% here in a moment. Okay, things are looking scary, but we're back over here. Ooh, that's good. Keep him over there. Luigi, I don't think we move him. Keep him right here. Blast this thing with everything we got. That's gonna be another 100%. I'm pretty sure. Yes! Blast away another one of those arms. Whoa! Was that enough? I think it was. Come on, Rosalina! I guess I was in. Good job. Oh no. It doesn't look so good. But it might not be finished. Oh? Uh. Here come the sparks. Are they gonna help? Whoa! Oh man! Curses in a million pieces. Well, get ready, squad. Let's blast her into a million more. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. The super shot. Whoa. Battle cleared. We did it. Curses finally defeated. Wow, that was a challenge, wasn't it? And we get Cursa as a memory. Okay, we did it, we beat the game. And everything's back to normal, we're back in the Mushroom Kingdom. And Rosalina's here too, aw. Mario, you and your friends saved the galaxy, and in doing so, saved me as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. We didn't save this box, Rosalina. We tried. We tried so hard. Aw. <laughs> Dearest Peepo, energy such as that which gives life to the sparks cannot be destroyed, only altered. Go! Whoa! Oh, there they are! They're so cute. And I'm glad they're all free. Woohoo! 
The sparks thank you for putting yourself in harm's way to save me. As do I. Huh. I went looking for my family once, the same way you search for those with whom you belong. Hey. You are welcome to remain with me and the sparks for as long as you would like, even forever. I do. I do want that. I mean, <laughs> I mean like, I did. But it turns out I have a family of my own already. They're weird. They're weird, and they annoy me sometimes. But I love them. Aww. <laughs> and as for you, Steward of Sparks. Well. I figure with Cursor gone, my old pals will find themselves a new profession. Hmm? Guess I'll stick with these tenderfoots for now. See if I can't keep air in their lungs. All right. Farewell, Mario. Your kindness, courage, and loyalty are the foundation of many a friendship including ours. <laughs> All right. And Bowser, aren't you happy to learn any problem can be solved when we work together? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. He doesn't look so happy about it. Not at all. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Watch out. Oh, my goodness. Everything's back to normal. So there was a look back at every single boss fight in Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope for the Nintendo Switch. I had so much fun playing through this game 100% for you guys throughout our main series. So if you want to see more, definitely go check that out. And if that's not enough for you, we have a full series on Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and the DLC pack Mario Plus Rabbids Donkey Kong Adventure. And even more is coming soon because new DLC is coming to Sparks of Hope, things with Rayman and just totally different stories. It's going to be a lot of fun, so definitely stay tuned and keep an eye out for those new episodes. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.